This is every Yu-Gi-Oh pack ever made. And we're going to be opening them all in this video. What's up guys, we're back with another video and in today's video we have the 150,000 subscriber special where we're opening every single Yu-Gi-Oh pack ever made. In first edition if possible, there are unlimited, but they did not come in first edition if so. So we have everything that's about max. Last time we did this, we left a couple out of first edition because we didn't realize we didn't have them until the night before and I, you know, do some unlimited. So this time we got them all in first edition, I believe. And hopefully this time we will not stop recording like we did with like the last 10 minutes and have to recreate it. So I'm gonna be double checking that a lot during this this video but this is going to be insane there's almost 300 different Yu-Gi-Oh packs that have been released throughout the course of 2002 to 2022 this is all first edition English stuff by the way we're not doing Japanese and stuff like that because if we did we'd have thousands of packs so it would be just be too insane so this is all English stuff keep that in mind but still 300 different sets in this video is going to be nuts so sit back relax this is going to be a very long one so hopefully you will enjoy it subscribe if you like the content because there'll be more stuff coming like this and if you like this video go check out the first time I did this in 2020 two and a half years ago something like that you'll probably enjoy that one as well but of course before we hop into this we do have a big giveaway and this one is sponsored by an ultimate member of the channel Ian M he bought a gear free the Iron Knight sealed tin and he said you know what I want to spot I want to help you out I want to buy something for a big video do you have a big video coming up I was like hey funny you mentioned that we don't have a giveaway for the every pack video so he spent $425 on this thing just to give it away for one of you guys so shout out to Ian M in the comments that's what you have to do to enter the giveaway and and of course, just make a comment about the every pack video. And don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications as well. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I uh, I tried to put all the packs where you could see most of them, but uh, there's just not a lot of room. We're doing what we can. Uh, I'm going to be a little crowded as we start because like there's a bunch of packs in the way, but I wanted you guys to be able to see. I think it's more fun when you can see all the packs coming up or at least a lot of them. So let's start here with the 2022 10 of the Pharaoh Gods. The audio is working. We are recording. Everything is good to go. This is gonna be a sick video. Okay, so here's another thing we need to address. These packs, they're loose, most of them. So could be scaled, could not. I did my best to find stuff that's legit. So hopefully we'll pull some good stuff as we go. Last time we pulled a few amazing cards like the Jinzo. So I'm hoping that we can do that again. So we're just gonna start off with the 2021. This one obviously is not scaled because it just came out. Uh, so we're good on this. Let's see what we can get. Book of Lunar Eclipse. We have the Dragon Lark Perrin, Stardust Trail. The Fluendries and the Magnificent Map. All right, that is not a bad secret rare. Pretty solid. There's so definitely some worse ones we could get, so we'll take that for sure. I think we should probably do a total and see what we get. I spent, I also meant to say this before we started, I spent around $15,000 acquiring all these packs because some I had to buy like an entire box, you know, like multiple packs in it to get the one pack I needed and stuff like that. I hope that you guys really enjoyed. I wanted it to be super special for this big uh, 150K special. And also shout out to everyone who has subscribed so far. I hope you guys enjoyed the, the content and I'm hoping that you guys will enjoy this video. Next up, Tactical Masters. Oh yeah, here we go. Second pack of the every pack opening. Tactical Masters, we've opened a lot of this. Absolute King Blackjack. Oh, this got a reprint recently. Labyrinth Archfiend, the uh, Malice Lady of Lament. Duelist Alliance, is it the next one? No, oh, it's the last one because this is a European pack. Very nice. Valence Mad Marquise and Labyrinth Barrage. That is just a super rare guaranteed in those packs. I'm going to have a lot of cards like sitting in the way right now. All right, next up, Power of the Elements. I tried to put these in reverse order so we can start from the newest in with the oldest, but uh, sometimes I may have gotten a little mixed up. Some of them I weren't, it wasn't exactly sure what the date was. All right, Amaze Attraction, Thrill Train, Ice Shade, Sprite Smashers. We got the Cross Keeper. Grand Tusk Dragon. So we're starting it off with a bunch of super rares. Moki Moki Adrift. We have not really hit anything too crazy yet, but that's okay. We can save them for the older packs, the more epic packs. Legendary Duel Season 3. I'm so nervous for this because like when you record for this long, I'm always worried something is going to go wrong. I'm hoping it doesn't because you guys remember last time. Smile action. So put a little comment down below or, you know, that, that it worked out, you know. <laughs> da -da 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 we got the Evil Mind. Oh, we got the Ruxin Special. We got the Quick Draw Synchron. Okay, we got an Ultra. Dark Spirit of the Banishment. Wait, do you only get... Oh, how, oh yeah, these are weird. Where you, like, you get ultras like every few cards. It's really... Yeah, Ebon Illusion. I forgot. This is like the weirdest way I've ever seen a pack. But for some reason, they went for a High Magician, Magician of Chaos. So yeah, like they, they do like an ultra and then you open a few more commons and there's another ultra. So I don't really know if that's... I don't really like that strategy, to be honest. But that's just how it goes. OTS 19, our first tournament pack of the opening. There's tons of tournament packs in this. There's OTS, there's Champion Pack, there's Turbo Pack, Astro Pack, uh, you know, Champion Pack. Did I say that? I think I already did. And then OTS, of course. So let's see if we can pull like an ulti. That'd be pretty amazing. Fairy Tail Snow. That's a pretty good card. 
We got the uh, Excalibur and a Slime Token. Slime Token, I always really like this one. I think it looks pretty nice. I think the tokens are a really cool idea to have in the OTS packs. I think they're just nice to have, like when you're playing a certain deck, you have your specific token. Here's one that we did not, well, technically all these were not in the last every pack opening. But this is a light edition. We didn't do light editions last time. This is like a dollar general pack. It has like two or three cards in it. So we have these for several different sets. So we're going to be opening these up as well as the regular version of Duels from the Deep. This set is one of the worst sets that's come out in a long time. Not really a lot to grab. There's a forbidden droplet chance, but I'm guessing in the light edition, the just even getting a foil is probably really hard. Uh, double fin shark is a rare though. We'll take that. And then the XC's Remora. I don't think rares are guaranteed, so we can't complain there. Now we have a regular old pack. It's funny because there's a light edition and like the regular has five cards. It's already like a light pack anyway. So it's like super light, like extra light pack. Okay, number C101, Silent Honor Dark. We got the Marincess Bubble Ring. Is that it? Oh, wait, that's the rare already? Doom, oh, Doom Kraken, super. Yeah, oh yeah, they did this. They had rare comp. Yeah, maybe they had sort of done that before. Very weird. We're going to see a lot of different ways that they like oriented the packs throughout the years. Like Konami did a lot of different stuff in terms of like where the rare was, where the super was, if you had a super and a rare, if you had neither, you know, stuff like that. All right, let's keep going. Dimension Force first edition. This is all stuff from this current year. So we have opened quite a bit of this on the channel. If you are here and you've been to the live streams and stuff like that, you've seen a lot of these open. Let's see what we can get. We have a Preta plant. Can we get our first big pull? Therion Bull, the uh, General Probe. Amphibious Bogroth MK11. I can't believe that. Oh, that's a secret rare. That's a good pull, actually. Uh, that's hilarious because they retrained that card. A Scare, uh, Scareclaw Tryheart, secret rare. We are taking that. Highest rarity besides the Starlight in this set. So our first pretty decent hit that wasn't like guaranteed because we got the Magnificent Map, but you get a secret rare every time, so nothing crazy. Now, if we want to start real crazy, let's get a Ghost from the Past too. the second Haunting Ghost Rare. Anybody down? Let me know in the comments. Let me know if you're down to start with the Ghost Rare. We know we're going to get a Ghost Rare in this opening later because we have a uh, Gold Series Haunted Mod. So let's see if we can just start it off hot right here. Plunder Patrol Ship Mork. We get the Crimson Knight Vampire Bram. We get the Fallen Sanction. Wait, should, should it have been there? Is it the next one? I can't remember. And then the rare fish. The fish, that is rare. All right, very cool. No, we did not get a ghost rare, unfortunately. All right, here's one that I've never actually opened. I have never opened this pack. Speed Duel Tournament Pack 3. Speed Duel has its own tournament packs that are actually pretty nice. I think they have like double super rares at least. Uh, there's only two cards per pack, so pretty cool. I actually have a funny story about Speed Duel Tournament Pack 2. I'll tell you guys when, when we get there. We have a lot of time to talk, so. Whoa, look at the back of this card. Yeah, the quality control. I, it's going to be interesting to look at the quality control throughout the years, but it's never really been good. There's been a lot of really bad quality control. Let's see. We got. Oh, wait, so this one doesn't have supers. This has three cards. They changed it. This is more like an OTS pack. Haunted Shrine. I guess this is the foil. Hopefully it's not anything crazy. Oh, Skull Servant Super with all that crap on the back. Uh, that's unfortunate, but Skull Servant Super is probably actually money just because people love Skull Servants. And I think in Speed Duel, Skull Servant is more relevant than it is in like the regular TCG. <laughs> okay, OTS 18. Here we go. Can we get an ultimate rare? Isn't this the one with Droplet that we pulled the other day? Insane video, by the way. We pulled a Droplet out of one pack. It was pretty awesome. No, it was 17. I think that it's in. All right, we got the Incantation uh, Pins of Plume. The uh, Tang Joster of the Nordic Beast. Oh, Token Collector. This is actually a good card. Uh, I think it was four bucks, three bucks, something like that. That's a very solid super rare to pull from OTS. It's either supers or ultimates out of OTS. That's it. I mean, they, they don't have like anything else. It's pretty interesting, that kind of combo. Next up, the Hidden Arsenal Chapter 1. This is the one I didn't open a lot of either because it's just not that great of a set. These, these chapters and like these uh, Legendary Duel Seasons, they're usually not that great. They're just reprints to get some of those cards that are super like hard to get and really expensive to get a reprint out there. General Gantal, we got the Flameville Guard. Naturia Cosmo B. Why does this look like Kirby like sucked up some soil or something? I don't know. The Naturia Pineapple. Shock Trooper, the Ice Barrier. Alley of Justice, Grendholg. We got the Medium of the Ice Barrier. Fabled uh, Cure Burrell. Naturia Ladybug. Oh, a Barrel Dragon. Sick with that dual terminal rarity. Very nice. I don't really like the rarity actually of this, like, this set because it almost looks like it's an accident. Like you can't even see it at first. And then you're like, oh, there it kind of is. It's kind of on there. I don't know. I don't love it. Naturia Barkeon. Okay, we got another one. And then a Brianak. Oh, Bri Brianak. 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 I don't know. Whatever you want to say. Pretty nice card. And then a fourth one, the Ally of Justice. Yeah, I just don't love this set very much. There's not a lot of great cards. I don't love the rarity too much either. Oh, and I wanted to mention, I forgot because like there's a lot of stuff to think about in this video. It's so long. I'm worried about like recording. There's a lot of stuff I wanted to say, you know, all that stuff. Uh, I wanted to shout out everyone who helped me get these packs because several different people helped out 
uh, some people with more than the others, but just thank you guys for helping out making this possible because this time I didn't really have to search like I did last time. Last time I did it all on my own, it was like three or four months it took me. This only took me like a few weeks, which is a lot better. I mean, it cost a lot more this time, but thankful to you guys for helping out. Ghost Trick Shot, we got the Uradora Fate, the Dinomorphia Stealth Bergia, and also shout out to all the viewers. You know, you guys are getting us to 150,000 subscribers, so that's pretty amazing as well. Grand Creators, we are still, wait, is this 2022? It is, right? Beginning of 2022, February, something like that. I haven't decided if we're gonna have every date up yet or not. We might have every date. If we do, that'll be kind of lit. Uh, Virtual World Hime, uh, the Joruru Punk Dangerous. I think that's it. Is that our super? That is our super, okay. I like the European packs better because they put it at the back. The problem is it gets damaged more easily, but it's better for opening. All right, Brothers of Legend. I'm gonna try not to say all right 700 times in this video, but I probably will, so just, just bear with me. Can we get a Dragoon? Can we do it? Penguin Sword, very nice. Fossil Dig, the Astral Topia, Kaiju Capture Mission. We have a number 99 Utopia Dragon Art. Why does this look so light? It looks like really, it not like faded, but I don't know. It's not like, it. yeah, it kind of looks faded. It looks weird. I don't know. It's a secret rare though. We'll take it. Up next is Maximum Gold Eldorado. We opened a little bit of this in our uh, extra pack video. It was like our extra packs from this video. Uh, and we pulled some decent stuff. But hoping the goods, oh, Rocket Tracer. Hopefully the good stuff's in here. Broken Line, Scrap Golem, that's a pretty good card. And Invoked Mechaba. Yes, the Invoked stuff is making an appearance. You'll love to see it. The Mechaba itself, very cool card. All right, nice, nice. Not anything crazy. Mechaba's not very expensive in that rarity, but still cool. Burst of Destiny. Now it's time for the DPE. It's time for the Strato Starlight that we've never pulled. That would be a pretty nice time to pull it. I don't know. I'm down. Well, we, we got a little crazy pack trip going on here. We got the Night Sword Serpent, B Trooper Landing. Magnificent uh, Magicky Moftil, the Cyanite Cascade, Magicky Battle, Sonic Tracker, Night Flight. Ooh, and a B Trooper Light Flapper. We have an Ultra Rare. Okay, that is not guaranteed. Supers are guaranteed, but Ultras are not. So this is basically the old Super. Very cool, very cool. B Trooper Light Flap, Light Flapper, I should say. All right, on to another Light Edition. We have a Synchro Storm. If we pull a Baron out of a Light Edition, we're gonna lose it. That would be insane. Liberty at last. Necro Floor, can we pull that Baron? It's like a $100 card still, so that'd be a pretty big one. No, the Illyrilisk Assembled Nightingale. And that's funny that there's like a $100 card in this set because this is also one of the worst sets. Legendary Duelist, they just don't really live up, usually. They're usually pretty bad. Like, the, the Duels from the Deep was terrible. This was terrible. They usually have like one card and then they get hit with the reprint and the card, the, the sets are pretty much worthless. Uh, Illyrilisk uh, Turquoise, except for a couple at the beginning were pretty good. The uh, Take Tom Bork, or at least the recent ones haven't been good. Assault Warrior. And the Pennant of Revolution. Very cool. They are very old school, though, because you don't guarantee a foil, which is pretty interesting, at least. Some people like it, some people don't. OTS 17. Let's go. This last time we opened this was when we pulled the droplet. I cannot open this. There we go. I wish we had had that pack for this video. That would have been pretty amazing. But it did kind of make that other video, which is cool. We got the Utopian Aura. We got the Insector Dragonfly. Can we get an ultimate rare? Ooh, the Flawless Protection of the Tinny. Hopefully, we can get some ult ultis in this video, because... They're, they're just an amazing rarity. A lot of people like them. 2021 Ten of Ancient Battles. We're already on to 2021 Ten of Ancient Battles. We, we've opened a lot so far. Let's see if we can uh, pull something big. What is big in here? The uh, Cross Out Designator, which now got reprinted in 2022, so it's not that big. I guess Triple Tactics Talents is probably the biggest card. Sentry, we get the uh, Arc Jet Lightcraft. Charge in a Dark World. We got the Melfi Hide and Seek. Adamant Spanner Analyzer. We have the Noctivision Dragon. Guy of the Magical Knight of Dragons, a classic, but not a great one. Let's see what's next. Ghost Girl, okay, and then... Tri Brigade Karis. All right, we got an Ultra Rare there. Not too bad. We got a few different cards. So we have not hit anything too crazy yet. We've hit some decent stuff. And now it's time for Dawn of Majesty. If we hit the Stardust, it would be poetic. It would be a poetic end right here. Not really end, beginning, I guess. Let's see if we can pull the Starlight, because it took us 13 cases, I think, to pull it. So let's see if we can do it here. We have the Beach Trooper Fly Sting. The Doombearer Psychopompus. Retain the Heavenly General. Amaze Attractive Viking Vorkex. I'm not speaking right. We have a long way to go to, so get used to it. <laughs> we have the uh, Gungan Sushi Ship. The Arrow Picks 3 and it's not a Starlight. It's an Albion, the Shrouded Dragon. All right, or Albion, however you say this. Actually a pretty good card, but I think it got a reprint. So it's around a dollar, I think maybe. Okay, up next, King's Court. This one I haven't opened quite a while, but this was a pretty popular set when it came out because of the God cards and like everything else that was potentially in here. Like Lightning Storm, I think is in here. Some other really cool stuff. Some collector rares, of course. Tornado Bringer, I think. I think the, just so we don't ruin it too much, the third card could like ruin it for us. Let's go. Jack's Knight. 
Okay, that must be the uh, old collector sets. We have Crystal Girl. Okay, so we didn't get anything. I guess it was the sixth card this time. I can't keep track. They keep changing it up for the collector rare sets. Nothing in the King's Court pack, unfortunately. Maybe we should be careful of those pack tricks. Tournament pack 16. Wait, no, Imperm was 17. This is the one with the droplet. Okay, we still got a chance. And Cyber Dragon. Cyber Dragon all art. Let's see if we can pull them. We have the Power Filter. Pretty cool. We got the Miracle Dig. And we have... Mausoleum of the Emperor Classic Duel Links card. Yeah, you guys know I'm going to bring up the Duel Links cards 50 times in this video, so go ahead and get used to that as well. Lightning Overdrive time. First edition. Let's go. Let's get that Black Rose. Black Rose, which I've never pulled, by the way, so keep that in mind. It could be a big pull if we put, well, a huge pull, actually. Hidden Spring. If we pull any Starlights, we're going to lose it. Because last time when we did this, there wasn't a lot of Starlight packs. There was only like four or five, I think, because it was in 2020. Now there's way more because, you know, it's been two and a half, three years. It's been three years since they came out. Basil Rose Shoot. We got the uh, Dan Mari at Ignister. Sky Scourge, Sid Hells, the Dog Magnicality, AI Meet You, and Amazement Precious Park, super rare. All right, it's a precious park. Not so precious to me right now, but that's okay. Ancient Guardians up next. This is, one, this is not a great set. It's not one of the worst sets ever, but it is not great. Let's try to pull a collector rare in this video. Misulfacord Elite, the Ursartic Quint Charge. Wait, okay. Actually, maybe this because normally in the third card, it would be the super and the newer ones, but we just saw in the other one was the sixth card. So I don't know. Let's just keep going. Pot of Riches. Very creepy card. Soul of Court Formal. Please mean there's something in here. Oh, it's the last card. Oh, she's a super. Oh, it let us on. Come on. Soul of Court Gracia. I thought we had something there for a second, but that's OK. We have Ghosts from the Past 1. We could pull Dark Magician. How cool would that be? Can you guys believe this? This set was not out yet either in the last every pack opening. This set seems super old. Ghosts from the Past 1, but it's not. Uh, Danger Thunderbird. Probably because we opened so much of it and then so much more Ghosts from the Past 2. Metafalls Counter. Miracle Synchro Fusion. I think it's the last card in this one. The Medolce Chateau and... Laval Archer. All right. Is that have a little bit of a shifted name there? It seems like it might be up a tiny bit, but not really. Now we're on to OTS 15. Actually, funnily enough, the hardest stuff to put in order in terms of chronological order was the newest stuff because all the websites are not updated. Like if you just Google like set list, they're all like stop in middle of 2021. So I was using my video dates for like new openings where I put like new in the title to like try and figure it out. So we got Arm Dragon level three. This was one of the bad OTSs I remember. I think Arm Dragon level 10s in here. It's like 15 bucks as an ulti. Not a very good set in terms of uh, OTS. Arm Dragon level five. And then a Shadal Dragon. Actually a pretty sick super rare. I will take that. Shadals are very, very cool, especially the supers in OTS because super OTS cards look really, really good. Blazing Vortex time. We will pull a Prosp now. Now that it's been reprinted, we'll definitely pull a Prosp. So, I mean, I'm still in for it though. I wouldn't be mad. <laughs> I would be like, what in the world is going on? But I'm down for it. Starlight's probably still got some big money. So let's take that. Machina Uncle Sparse. I didn't realize that was in this set. The Amanakuja Key. We got the S4 Specimen. Arm Dragon Blitz. Steel Star Regulator, Springens Branga, Ice Breeze Refrain, and we have Fabled Marcosia, and we have, oh, Arm Dragon Thunder Level 7. Okay, that's not guaranteed. So we're, as long as we're hitting stuff that's not guaranteed, you know, hopefully we'll eventually hit something that's actually good that's not guaranteed. This is not good, by the way. This did get a reprint in the tins, actually, though, as a star, as a prismatic uh, secret rare, which is pretty funny. All right, we're not quite onto the second row yet, but we're, we're making our way over there. The th first row was pretty short, though. It wasn't a full-length row, because I kind of really uh, pushed these together up here so you guys could see a lot of them. We got the Beacon of White. We got the Galaxy Zero. We're already over 20 minutes on my recording, so this is going to be a long video. Just, uh... Enjoy the time. Sit back, relax, pretend like it's a stream, except for a better stream because we're opening every pack. Siger. Oh, Blue Eyes Spirit. This is one of my favorite cards. It almost looks like a ghost rare here, too. This would be a really beautiful ghost rare. I love Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. That's a sick pull. Galaxy Eyes Photon's pretty cool as well. The purple actually fits the artwork really well because it's kind of purpley bluey. We got the ultimate uh, creature destruction. This was like a $25 super before they hit it in this. Uh, Thorn of Malice. So actually a pretty sick pack. Harpy Conductor's in there. Very nice. We will take that all day. Next up, another Collector Rare set that is not that popular. And that's just kind of the theme with Collector Rare sets because they just don't do well in terms of like price, in terms of the value of the sets. And I just don't really think they're that great to open and compared to a lot of other stuff either. So I kind of hope they revamp these and change them up a little bit so it's not all rares and then like three ultras a box. I just don't like that personally. Live Twin Channel, I should say. Griffin, Magistus Invocation. I do like how they're not at like the third slot though in these. Madam Secretary or Bad Up Secretary. Uh, GG's. And then the Tyra, Dry Tron. What am I saying? Tryon. Alpha Thuban. Okay, that's just a super rare. Nothing crazy there. But we do have Maximum Gold, which does have some pretty big hits in it. We get the Blue Eyes, we get the 
the Dark Magician. There's the uh, the Toad, which is like just a rare and it's like insanely expensive. Lost World, there's a Beatrice. Fire Formation, Gyoku. The Barrier Statue, the Torrent. Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries. That's pretty cool, Gold Rare. Foolish Burial Goods. And then in the Imperial Tombs of the Necro Valley, Gold Rare. All right, not too crazy there, but some cool stuff. Here's one that I wouldn't mind opening, getting a Zeus. Zeus Starlight would be pretty amazing. That would be awesome. I would be very in for that. I would probably grade it, even though it's like, I don't think it's as playable anymore, but it would still be really amazing. Like, you know, just a grade. Mighty Tank Clash, we got the Virtual World Kirin. Tri Brigade Nerval, we got the Penguin Brave. Mighty Tank Expansion. The Dual Avatar Defeating Evil. XC's Import. Myotin GB88 and the Perfect Sync Aeon. All right, another super rare. Not too crazy there, but what's up next? The OTS 14. All right, this one has Toon Kingdom, I think, in it, stuff like that. I don't remember what the other two were. I specifically remember Toon Kingdom. I think this was a pretty decent one, much better than OTS 15, that's for sure. Evil Thorn, pretty good reprint because this was like an $8 common before that, which I kind of miss because when we'd open like Raging Battle, we get a lot of value out of it. Singing Lanius, I've used this in Auction Series and the one against Farfa as well. And then an Unpossessed with, what are, which, is that the Marmon of Nefariousness or whatever his name is? Interesting. Now it's time for Rage of Raw. Anybody want to pull a Ghost Rare? I do, I'm down. There's a lot of chances at Ghost Rares in these packs. One that is guaranteed. So, oh, we just destroyed that pack. Whoops. All right, there goes that one. Sorry about that. We have the Mechlord Astro Dragon Asterisk. We have the Fortress, Psychic Shockwave, the Mechlord Army of Skiel, and Psychic Mega Cyber. Okay, just a Mega Cyber. Nothing too crazy in there anyway besides the Ghost Rare. So we're not too mad about that one. Now we have Dragons of Legend, the complete series. I completely forgot that this was a series. <laughs> totally forgot about it. I mean, I, not, I didn't forget about Dragons of Legend, the series, I guess, but I did forget about this pack because it was not very good. It had dice in it, which was the coolest part, but you obviously can't get that out of a pack. You got to buy the box. So not too much crazy in here, except for the Dark Magician Girl alt art, I think. Guppy, Ice Hand. Toon Rollback, cool card. Ritual Sanctuary. Toon Briefcase, another pretty cool one. It's just a cool looking card. I like it. Doom Virus Dragon, also cool looking. I don't know. I just, it being purple with the fusion, I just never liked it. Shadow Toon, I think it's a little bit too purple on that thing. I don't, I don't love it, but you guys can let me know if you like it. Because if you do, that's totally cool. But I want to know in the comments. All right, all right. 10 of Lost Memories 2020. It's Dragoon time, baby. I don't remember what else is in here besides Dragoon, like at all. Like literally nothing. What else is in here? The Infinitrack Drag Shovel. We got the Time Thief Flyback. Jelly Cannon, Dark Factory, more production, not mass production, more production. <laughs> Got the Valkyrie Chariot. Uh, I just love Yu-Gi-Oh names sometimes, guys, especially this one. On to the next one. We have the Princess Seahorse, super rare. Princess Blue Tang. We got the crackdown. This got whoa, this comes in a prismatic. This is probably actually a couple bucks. Evil Eye Defeat, Witchcrafter Golem. Okay, that's actually sick. I do not remember that card at all. That's very nice. All right, the Emperor Maju Garzette. We're taking that. That's pretty sick. Okay, back. Oh, Rise of the Duelist. Wow, guys, this is a big set. It was around here when I started streaming. I think it was uh, the set before this. I started streaming new sets. I opened one case of the set and we pulled insane, like absolutely insane. Uh, I think I like got like two starlights. Yeah, we got DD Crow and then uh, what was the other one? I don't remember the other one. Spiral Discharge, but it was a good one. The Infernal, Infernal, no, it was Triple Taxi's Talents, of course. The original print, yeah. We got the Indulged Dark Lord. This was such a crazy set. Unauthorized Boot Up Device. Abyss Actor, Twinkle Little Star, Twinkle Twinkle. The Melfi Tag. Spiral Reborn. And we have. In for Noble Arms, Jeus, Jeus, okay. This is the one I started streaming at, Battles of Legend, Armageddon, I was like, we are getting that 10K Dragon. We did indeed get it the very first stream. All right, Dragon Buster Destruction Swordsman. We got the Artifact Sanctum. Can we pull a 10K here? That would be like one of the biggest pulls we could get. Penguin Torpedo, number one, and number C92, Heart Earth Chaos Dragon. Very cool artwork, we will take that. Legendary Duelist, season one. Let's keep going. Well, I wonder what number we're on. We're probably like 20, 30 packs in now. We're all the way in 2020 at this point, which is insane already. Megaroid City, we still got 18 years to go, so hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Darkness Dragon, Ancient City Rainbow Ruins, has an ultimate rare in Force of the Breaker, Red Eyes Insight, Cyberdark Dragon, Parasite Paranoid, Cyberdark Cannon, Crystal Blessing, Ancient Gear Frame, Crystal Bond. Actually, this was a very expensive card out of the original Legendary Duelist until this reprint. Rainbow Bridge, pretty cool. Fury of Karyushin, and Amethyst Cat. Okay, so not a bad pack there, some rainbow stuff. We got all Magic's spell cards, not Magic. I always, I still default to Magic, like 
19 years later, I still say that. Here's a big one. First edition Toon Chaos, definitely the best and most successful collector rare set. Probably had something to do with the short printing and you know, when it came out, also it has Toon in the name, but hopefully we can pull something amazing here. Here we go. Blacklister Soldier Envoy of the Evening Twilight. Mass Hero Blast. Chaos Sorcerer, very cool. Ooh, and just an eternal chaos. Oh, come on, Pot of Desires. Actually, a nice card. Just an eternal chaos, though. Nothing too crazy. But now we're all the way down to OTS 13. I specifically remember this was the most recent OTS pack and the last every pack opening. It was this one because I had to, I went to my local store. I'd never played in a tournament. I entered the tournament and dropped out just to get the pack. Yep, that's a real story. That happened in the last one. I probably said that in the last video. If you haven't seen it, make sure to go check that one out. It's very long as well. So if you want a lot of content, you got two every pack openings. I have no idea what the ulties are in here though. Goyo Defender, we've got the Formula Synchron, probably actually a couple bucks and where art thou? I remember this card specifically. Very funny card. Where art thou? Poor dog back there, just straight chilling. And also, I remember that Toon Chaos was the very most recent set. That was the most recent tournament pack set, but I think Toon Chaos had just come out when we did this. Now we have Eternity Code. This one was also more recent, but not the most. Proxy F Magician, the Stairs of Mail. This one has the original access code, which is still a lot of money, so hopefully we can pull that. The uh, Golden Hair. And the Burning Draw, just a super rare. All right, nothing too crazy. We are looking for our first crazy pull, because so far it's been pretty rough in terms of pulls, but Secret Slayer First Edition could change that with the Eldritch Secret Rare, which is still like 60 bucks. So let's see if we can pull it. When this guy came out, he was like over 100, I think. He was insane at one point. We have the Kwaki Mirror Guardian, pretty nice card. The Clylamin, uh, Cly... Cly Clayman, Cly Clayman, the Rika Fairy. I don't know. The Galaxy Cyclone, Rock Bombardment. Can't we pull that secret? Rare? Let's go. Conquistador of the Golden Land. This is a pretty decent card. I mean, it's a guaranteed secret every pack, but this is one of the better ones because it is a card playable with Eldritch. So probably like three bucks there for the original print, maybe a little bit more. We will take that. All right, here's one that I did not stream, but I basically did. We did a 500 plus pack opening, Chelsea and I. We opened a ton of this set, but we recorded it. We didn't do, actually do a uh, live stream. So it was basically the same. I just didn't know how to live stream yet. So that, you know, if you don't know how to live stream, just start doing it. That's how you do it. Condemned Dark Lord, we have the Scrap Orthros. We've got the Double Evolution Pill, big card in here. Cybernetic Overflow, pretty nice. I still, by the way, FYI, when we did that 500 pack opening, I kept all the cards and like tried to sell all of them. I still have like half of the cards. So, yeah, you know, like the cheap cards, I still, I, pr I probably still, actually, I think I sold all of these, but uh, for all the smaller stuff, I have like a ton of them. Abyss Actor, Hybrid Director, that's the end. That's the end. I don't remember if this guy's good or not, but he's the last card, so he's supposed to be good at least. On to Ignition Assault. This is the one with Lightning Storm in it, right? Is that it? I think it's kind of like the only card. This was my first Starlight pull was Ignition Assault. We pulled a Lightning Storm. It was pretty awesome. Can we do it? Oh, no, the Ruxin Special with the, uh, the incorrect pack trick sales pitch hey it's a secret rare though that's not guaranteed i'm taking that i mean we didn't do the pack opening correctly but sales pitch i don't think is that good let's see if there's anything else in here megalith promotion okay we got to do three next time because apparently they changed it up right there on to our first movie pack if you guys know there's multiple different prints of movie packs so here's our first one this is secret edition this is the most recent one that they did this is the prettiest one in my opinion it looks really good we've got the dimension sphinx the crimson nova of the dark cubic lord by it's five secret rares by the way Dark Horizon, we can get Blue Eyes Alternative in here. There's a uh, Mahad is pretty good. There's a Dark Magician Girl, so pretty valuable. Let's see what we can get. Counter Gate, and here we go. Kaiser Vorse Raider. Okay, just a Kaiser Vorse Raider. Nothing too crazy. Kind of a cool card, actually. I, I do like it. I don't really understand why he's still five stars, but he is. All right, next Legendary Duelist. This is probably one of the most successful Legendary Duelist sets. It did really, really well when it first came out, but of course it's been reprinted now, so it's like not as good, but still very solid we got the go go giant we got the spiral flame strike can we get that magician souls super short printed in the set we got the miracle fusion here we go here it would be future drive yeah not even a super there because they're not guaranteed in these sets oh no my nose is getting itchy I swear I'm allergic to these packs. OTS 12 time official tournament store tournament pack 12. I don't have a memory of this one because I don't think I was actually opening OTS packs when I like when this one came out. I think 13 was the one I really started with. I don't remember what this is. I'm sure I've opened it before, though, because we've opened pretty much everything. Well, we have opened everything because they every pack opening uh, Chambara. And the Vashuda. Whoa, Vashuda is that old? Vashuda is a really good card, actually. This is very strong in the Sword Soul Tinny deck, which isn't that good anymore because of certain decks, but that was a very good card. Now we have Speed Duel Trials of the Kingdom. Speed Duel had its own like main sets for a while and then they just quit doing them, but they weren't that, yeah, they weren't that great. So, uh, Jirak Spinos, they didn't do great at least. Flint, and then we have 
Despair from the Dark. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. It does four cards and you can get all commons. It's very strange. All right. On to Mystic Fighters Speed Duel. You know, whatever. Mystic Fighters is pretty cool. That's Dragon Maids. And I know a lot of you guys are a big fan of Dragon Maids. I'm not going to say anything else about that, but let's just keep going. See what we can get. Sign up Backdoor. Got a super. True King of All Calamities. If you play a Master Duel, you probably hate this card. We've got, I think they finally banned it. Generator Boss Room. Appropriate. This is a Pharaoh Servant Common. Got a reprint here. Interesting. And then. A Geomathmech Magma. All right, that's a see, that's a pretty sick secret rare. We will take that. We are officially on to the second row. So we're like down in, I think, almost 2019 at this point with Chaos Impact. This has the potential at a first edition IP Masquerina around $1,500 for the Starlight Rare. So if we pull that, we're going to lose it, which we have done before. If you guys saw when we pulled two out of 1K, so it was absolutely insane. That opened kind of weird for some reason. Uh, I don't know. Hopefully not anything sketchy going on there, but we're going to keep going. We have the uh, Bayonetta, the Baneful Barrel, the World key the marincess battle ocean marincess world heart dream mirror of chaos the chob ham armor dragon the abominable chamber of the unchained and the Oneros, the dream mirror Ur earl king the earl king and the gladiator beast united okay interesting all right now okay here's one where we have a funny story speed will turn him back too so if you guys don't really realize or th even think about it. You probably don't even think about it. When you do it like an opening with like every pack. So as you can see, there's all these different packs. It's super easy to like miss some. Like last time I remember I missed like that. I didn't have a couple packs until like the day before. I was like going through them to double and triple check. So I was double checking and I couldn't find Speed Duel Tournament Pack 2. And I was like, oh great, I got to buy more. So I got an eBay and I looked and I was like, man, these are all really expensive. It was like $10 a pack. And then I saw there was like a whole box that I bought. It was like a sealed box. And I was like, okay, I'll make an offer for that. I offered $400 plus tax. I bought an entire box just to get the one pack because I forgot to buy it. Turns out I didn't forget to buy it. I actually had it the whole time. We may have a opening of this entire box coming up soon because I, I thought I didn't have it. So speed will turn it back to that happened like a couple days ago. Like, so I was like, dang, I spent an extra 440 for no reason. So hopefully you guys enjoy the set. So here, this is what I was talking about. Two supers or a super and an ultra, I think. So we have Cabazals. And then a Beatron. So two super rares. Kind of cool how they did it. I, I kind of like that like that way. I don't really like that they change it to be in like an OTS pack because it's its own thing. You know what I mean? Now it's time for Immortal Destiny first edition. Can we get a big pull like Bane? Something like that. Something amazing. Here we go. We have Gimmick Puppet Magnet Doll. The Predaponics. Gimmick Puppet Drew Doll. The uh, We're a Coco Rosca. And the ultimate Earthbound Immortal. Okay, nothing in there. Just the, uh, those have not been kind to us so far. Probably because I said I didn't really like them. So that's probably why. 2019 Gold Sarcophagus. I don't remember this one at all. I opened a little bit of this, but this was like before we opened in mass on every new release. So I don't know it as well. Let's see. Bear Blocker. Patchwork Fluffle. The Dragoonity Sinitus. Solitary Sword of Poison. This is kind of like before they put like huge cards in there, like Dragoon and stuff. Crusadia Draco. Oh, a Thunder Dragon Hawk. Pretty cool Thunder Dragon card from Duel Links. Yeah, Duel Links. Nightmare Griffin, also a pretty good pull. And then Crusadia Revival. So another, yeah, it's a decent pack, actually. We will take that. Pretty solid since we haven't really done that well. Next up is a huge one. A very rare, a very expensive. This is the Gadgets Pack. Yeah, first edition. You know, this was tough to find, guys. Really good cards in here. Let's see what we can pull. We have the Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Cardinal. Subterra Final Battle. Boot Up Corporal Command Dynamo. Prohibit Snake, and we have Fire Formation Ingen, Secret Rare. I don't think I've ever seen that card before. I don't remember seeing it at least. We probably did out one of those mystery boxes with all the Figa packs, but I don't remember it. Our next tournament pack is OTS 11. Yeah, we still have a long way to go, guys. You can just tell because there's so many series before OTS and we're only on 11. Like we've got to go all the way to one first before we can even go back to like the Astro packs. Stronghold the Moving Fortress. We got the Fortune Lady Fire. Can we get an ulti out of one of these? No, Fortune's Future. Not this time, at least. On to the Speed Duel Scars of Battle. I actually opened a decent amount of this because it was so cheap. And I was like kind of into Speed Duel, like collecting and stuff for a little bit. Blast Sphere. We got the Insect Armor with Kazer. <laughs> Kazer. Insect Armor with Laser Cannon. And the Drac Tyrannus. And Release. Restraint. Not the Wave. There he is. The, uh... Gear free the sword master in there, I think. All right, this one is actually sick. Rising Rampage first edition, because this could have the Opelosa, which is another huge starlight. This is the first set ever with starlight. So if we're going to get one in this video, it has to be in this one. Let's hope that we can do it. If we get the Opelosa, we will probably pass out and not finish the opening. So you might not want me to get that. We'll have to see. One, two, three. Let's do three this time because I ruined it last time. Reptilian Lamia. We've got the Beat Raptor. Okay, pretty cool. That got a super later at some point. I don't remember which one. You'll send you sword stain. We've got the Marincess Current. Samorg Onslaught, the Osinju Wind Worship, 
The Ikalos, the Dream Mirror, Mara. Okay, so he was actually five from the back. Interesting. So no Starlight there. Now that's okay because we have officially moved past the Starlight era. We are into what I call the Dead Area after 2015 and before uh, the that pack, whatever it's called, Rising Rampage. Because there was no Starlights, there was no Ultis, there was no Ghosts, there was no like high rarity chase, which is us collectors really love. So not as many like awesome packs here, but this I think is one of them because you can get the Black Luster Soldier, which is pretty cool. The Black Luster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos. Not redundant at all. Oh no, it's right at the beginning. High speed Roid rubber band shooter. We got to remember with these five card packs, they like to put them at the beginning. Foolish Burial, nice, nice card actually. Summon limit too. Okay, that's a pack right there. I don't know if this rubber band shooter is any good. Never heard of it, so probably not. But those other two cards are very good. So it's a solid pack. We actually put the best cards at the back by accident. All right, I think this is the second release of Speed Duel, the uh, Attack from the Deep. Is that what it's called? What, what does that mean? Why is it Attack from the Deep and it has Kaiba? It seems like another, there's duels from the, I don't know. I'm just confused. Ready for intercept. Can we actually get a foil out of one of these? Where elimination the slushy and ask of the accursed. No, we cannot. We will not get a foil. Dark Neo Storm. We've opened this many a time. There's the fusion destiny in here. There is uh that's basically it. <laughs> not, not too much. Let's see what we can get. We have Alter Geist, Dragavarion, the Assault Mode Zero, the Krialtar, the Incantation Originator, the Chain Hole, super rare. All right, we got a Chain Hole. Anything else? Cupid Dunk. The Cupid is dunking. I like that. Basketball, pretty cool. Now we have OTS Tournament Pack 10. So we are finally on a 10. Can this be the first ultimate we get? I am down. Let's do it. We have number 81. My body is a shield, beautiful. And Salaman Great Mole, just a super rare. Salaman Great Mole, though, pretty popular back in the day. But uh, Salaman Great's kind of sucked now. <laughs> and now the first tournament pack of Speed Duel. You can get a Blue Eyes, Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl in here. Dark Magician Girl is only a super, so we have a good good chance to hope for that. Let's see if we can get it. We have done an entire opening of this at one point, but let's see if we can get something crazy. Harpy Betty 1, that's not bad. And the Flute of Summoning Dragon. Okay, so a couple of supers. Not the way they do in 3, but uh, they change it up and made it commons and stuff on the new one i don't know why dual power time let's go let's get the dual let's get the power let's pull it we have the crystal wing synchro dragon i don't remember what we can pull here we've got the serpent we got the ghost Ro reaper and render series we already got that earlier zaborg the mega monarch and the fright for patchwork all right so fright for patchwork is that any good because like I don't think it is. It's not right. It's a good card for Fright for though. Now we have the first release of Speed Duel, Arena of Lost Souls. You can get the Sphere Karibo in here. That'd be pretty cool, actually. I think it's still worth a couple bucks, even though it's been reprinted and stuff. Let's see if we can grab it out of Arena of Lost Souls. We have the Common Charity. Hey, look, the format of Yu-Gi-Oh that you can play. Possessed Dark Soul, Wasteland, and... Buster Blader, pretty cool common card, but uh, not too crazy Buster Blader. On to Infinity Chasers. Actually, you know what? I said these are like not great sets. They're not great for collecting, but there are some pretty cool side sets like Infinity Chasers. These five card side sets are not bad, and we're not gonna fall for it this time. We're putting the secret to the back. Watch that. Boom, nailed it. This is a reprint of a prize card too, which is pretty cool. Formal Pal Sky Magician. Magician's right hand. And then the Evil Eye Mesmerism. So it looks like it wasn't at the front. It's impossible to keep up. Mesmerism and the Bound Wand. Okay, so not too bad there. Oh, here's one with a pretty cool card. The Borolode Savage Dragon. I think it did get a reprint in 2021 tins maybe. But this is a very expensive Ultra. It's like $70 is just a regular Ultra. So it's a really, really good card. So if we could pull that, I'd be happy. I don't think I've ever actually pulled it now that I think about it. Cyrus Wikikid. Time Thief Regulator. The Guard Dragon Justica. Justicia? I don't know. Core Awakening. Suranui Sword Saga, Time Thief Bezel Ship. Oh, and a Guard Dragon Pisty. Actually, a pretty decent card. A very strange name, but a decent card. Back to Legendary Duelist. This is Sisters of the Rose. Is this like the fourth or fifth one? I can't remember which one. We'll, we'll look at the, the set code and it'll tell us. Maybe even the third one. Let's see. No, the third one's Blue Eyes, I think. Uh, Legendary Four. Okay, yeah. Cyber Angel Benton. I wonder if that's worth anything because for a while that was a good card. Probably not because uh, Drytron's not any good anymore. We have the Cat Dancer, the Machine Angel Ritual, Harpy Lady Sisters, and. Incarnated Machine Angel. Oh, yeah. okay, cool. OTS9. This has Stratos, right? OTS9? That would be a huge pull. If we pulled Stratos, that'd be a really good one. I'd be down for that. Elements of Stratos Ultimate Rare. Yeah, definitely down for that. Tachyon Transmigration. We got the Instant Neo Space. And here we go. <laughs> Repo Docus. I think this one's like five cents. I remember this specifically. Oh my gosh. All right. Not a great one. Not a great one. But next up, we have Hidden Summoners. A pretty cool pack, actually. First edition. Another five card side set. We're not going to fall for it again. We're going to put the uh, potential secret to the back just in case. We have a Thunder Dragon Super. I bet that's like $3. That's good. Circle of the Fire Kings. The Fusion Recycling Plant. 
Ooh, and a Nephthys, the Sacred Preserver with a Shurinui Samurai. Actually a pretty cool card for like Shurinui decks, but Thunder Dragon's probably the best card in that back. At this point, our value back's probably not looking great, but we're just gonna keep chugging, hopefully pull something big, Soul Fusion, Thunder Dragon stuff, let's go. Can we pull the Colossus? Yeah, that'd be pretty amazing. Even the Seeker Rare, even though it's banned, it's like $15, so pretty solid value. Uh, and then if you hold on to it, maybe it'll get unbanned. Who knows? The Necrofusion. Oh, that was actually used in my Dark Magician deck. Oh, Pankratops. Let's go. Cool common. I don't think it's too valuable because there's a lot of prints of it, but still really cool. Giant Ballpark. Yeah, that's a classic. Necro Valley Throne. Oh, and Token Collector. That's actually value too. So that was actually a pretty good pack. A lot of really good cards in there, actually. Okay, we will take that solid pack. White Dragon Abyss, first edition. Number three in terms of the Legendary Duelist. Let's see if we can grab something big. Black Whirlwind is very cool. We got the Power Bond, Cyber in Dragon, Abyss Script Opening Ceremony, and then the Abyss Playhouse Fantastic Theater. I don't remember there being so many Abyss cards in there, but I guess there were. Now we have the Dark Side of Dimensions movie pack. This is just the Ultra Rare reprint. So they did like a Gold Rare, Ultra Rare, and a Secret Rare. It's pretty insane. Can we get the Alternative Dragon? That's what we really want out of here. We have the Chocolate Magician Girl. That's a few bucks. Very nice. Magician's Defense, Clear Karibo, and... Apple Magician Girl. So both of these are pretty decent. So that's actually a pretty good pack for the movie pack. All right. 2018 Mega. We're only in 2018. Is this serious? I've been recording for 49 minutes. It's only 2018. All right. Self-Destruct Ant. Very creepy. Uh, Ground Pricks. We got the Anastrocket Dragon. I don't know. Auto Navigator. The Synet Refresh. The Off-Road Grand Prix. Lila Twilight Sword and Enchantress. Inspector Borger. Wait, is this actually money? This is actually like a rogue kind of thing where you like, you can't like do anything when you have him, right? Cannot be normal special summon if you control a monster. Neither player can activate monster effects unless the number of monster or monster effects that player has previously activated that turn is less than, okay, that's way too long. But basically it, it locks you out from a lot of stuff. There's a nice secret. I'm not, that's just too, too much, man, too much. We got a long video. Calm down, Inspector Vorder border all right ots8 what were we thinking trying to read a card come on we collect cards we don't read them come on Yu-Gi-Oh players they don't even read them and they play you know it's different they're they're built different all right well, next up the ots8 will we get an ulti come on it's chris the forbidden spell the artifact moral attack and waking the dragon pretty cool card i don't know if it has a lot of value but pretty cool like actually used for a while back in the day now we're on to the shadows in valhalla i think this had some cool reprints i believe doesn't this one have alistair stuff yes it does invoke mechava right there very cool golden bamboo sword awesome vision hero trinity also maybe worth something magical meltdown that's okay this is the invoked back and the ninjutsu art of mirage transformation okay i don't think that one's too great but we got a couple of uh awesome uh alistair cards we'll take that now it's time for saiho which is a pack that i always pull the boral sword and i always say it's the cover card but it's not so i'm sorry about that uh, Cybernetic Horizon. Let's see if we can pull the Boral Sword again. Dragoonity Legion, Crusadia Arborea, Mini Boral Dragon, the Restoration Point Guard, Crusadia Revival. That's a super rare. Okay. And go heal over. So we did not pull the Boral that time, but that's okay because we have Battles of a Legend. Relentless Revenge coming up. Super. Not super. I was about to say super rare for some reason. I don't know why I was going to say that. Oh no! I fell for it! It's at the beginning! The Brilliant Fusion! Okay, pretty cool. Uh, anything crazy, I'd say? Noble Knight reminds me of Duel Links, of course. TG, that reminds me of Duel Links, of course. Yeah, classic, you know. Now, Dark Saviors. There's... What is the big card in here? There's, like, Widow Anchor and stuff from uh, Sky Striker. We're, we're not falling for it this time. I bet it's at the back again, <laughs> now that we're actually doing it. Drowning Mirror Force, pretty cool. Vampire Vamp. Vampire Retainer, a lot of vampires. Ooh, and a Vampire Domination. Okay, all vampires. And then Hornet Drones, actually a pretty decent card as well if you're doing that. It was good for when Verite was out, but probably not as good now. It was like in almost every deck at that point. We have Flames of Destruction, Imperm, or the Ghost Bell. Let's do it, not Ghost Ogre. I always say Ghost Ogre instead of Ghost Bell. Also, um, Called by the Grave is a common in here. So let's see if we can pull that. World Legacies Corruption, Corruption Mallow, the Tri Tin Dangle Trinity, the Prompt Thorn. Rux and Special past the D-Grade Buster. No! Come on, Rux and Special. Don't do it, man. Don't have the Rux and Special. Just calm down. OTS7. I think this one has like Link Spider and stuff. I specifically remember that one. Yeah, something like that. I remember I bought like an ulti set of these at one point for like 40 bucks or something like that. It was a long time ago. Token Festival. Can we get our first ulti? It would be this one if we get it. Prickle Fairy. And Paleozoic Lecholia. All right, super rare. Now we have Vrains, Star Pack Vrains. Star Pack, probably one of the worst sets. I mean, like, people just don't really care about Star Packs that much. Let's see what's even in here. I don't really even know. 
The Bitron. All right. We've got the Bitron. That just sounds bad. The Pulse Mines and the Flick Clown. So we got the Bitron and the Flick Clown. And just look at their name and just listen. Yeah, it's insane. That was that's a wild pack. All right, we're on to a pretty cool pack here. Legendary Collection Kaiba. I totally did not forget that you were a Legendary Collection Kaiba. Don't forget. I mean, I, I didn't forget. I mean, do forget. You know what? Let's just wipe it under the rug. Oh, there's a secret. Oh, yeah, this is how the, it's two secrets. Ultra's secrets in this set. Priestess, very nice. A Soul Core, also very nice. I think Ash is in here as a secret potentially, or is it Ultra? I can't remember. Spell Reproduction, the Tiger Dragon, Master of Eyes of Blue, Ring of Defense, Ancient Fairy Dragon, nice print. X Head Cannon, and Loop of Destruction, and ooh, Return of the Dragon Lords. That honestly might be one of our best pulls so far. I think it's like $8. Yeah, I think we may have beaten that in a couple cards, but yeah, that's actually a really nice card first edition. Very beautiful. Yeah, you can bring back a Blue Eyes with that. Basically a Monster Reborn for that. Just leave it to Kaiba to have a nice pack. Now we have Ancient Millennium. This is the second Legendary Duelist set. Second ever, so pretty cool. Well, Legendary Duelist versus yeah, there's it's different, right? The, the before, the old. Never mind, we'll get to them. Rainbow Dragon, the Barrel Dragon. I think it's the second one of these. Worm Bait, Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem, and a Parasite Paranoid. I think this was like a crazy good card in Speed Duel, wasn't it? I think it's like a crazy good card. So interesting. Now onto Extreme Force. This is one of the early sets I remember buying, getting the uh, Heavy Metaphors Electromite and the Saruja, the Skull Dread. I remember pulling both of those and being super hyped. Let's see if we can pull one here. They been banned or like whatever since then but what kinetic we've got the secure garden actually pretty decent card yoku kuna the sumo spirit mech knight indigo eclipse i remember simo using this in an auction series episode underclock taker another early link card yeah this is like very early in link's life so like they weren't very good back then they were just like you know link one you don't really get any benefit off of it now we are on to ots6 we are still recording which is a very good thing when you're doing an every pack opening we have ots6 can we get our first ultimate out of the ots slash tournament packs to Urban strategy, Dragon Shrine, and Trickstar Lily Bell. That is not an ulti. I hate to break it to you, Trickstar. That's okay because we have Spirit Warriors next. Spirit Warriors will make up for it. I don't know with what, but it's going to have something. I think Kazan's in here. There's some nice uh, Six Samurai stuff. Double Edged Sword Technique. Speak of the Devil. Six Shinobi. Grandmaster of the Six Samurai is very cool. Shadow of the Six Samurai Shien. Very, lots of Six Samurai stuff. And. The Weather Painter Rainbow. I wonder if this came back any because of the Weather Painter stuff. It could be decent. I don't know. I'll have to check that one out afterwards. You guys will already know because the price will have popped up, but you can let me know in the comments. Now, Circuit Breaker. Circuit Break. Yeah, not Breaker. Circuit Break. What is this? Borolo Dragon, I think is the big card. We got the Miss Star Boy. I think also uh, evenly matched, I think. Crawler uh, Renvier. We got the Temple of the Mind's Eye. Deflect, Defect Compiler. Alter Guys Protocol, that is, that's not a evenly matched. Hate to break it to you, circuit break, that's not it. And we are here, we are at the beginning of Legendary Duelist, but we have not one, but we also have the light edition. So we're gonna do that first. Pretty crazy, I didn't know they did a light edition for this one, but apparently they did. Let's see if we can pull something, I don't know. We have the Red Eyes B Dragon, Armoroid, okay. Cyber Dark Cannon, uh, ooh, okay, that's awesome. Good pulls. All right, on to the next one, the actual Legendary Duelist. Will it be in here? Will it be epic? We have the Sphere Karibo there. That's pretty cool. Oxygedon, that's a absolute throwback to Elemental Energy, I think. Amazon is Archer. Ooh, and the Duotarian looks like the Hydrogedon and the uh, Oxygedon mixed together. Always pretty funny. It looks like we're in 2017 now with the Mega Ten. So 2017 Mega Pack. Let's go. Let's see what we can get. We got the Cyber Tutubon. Paleozoic Hallucigenia. Actually a pretty good dueling scar for a while. Mare Mare, the Paleozoic Dynamiscus. That was actually pretty. I think that's actually worth a little bit. Zodiac Combo, the Blackwing Gofu. True King, Lysso Sagem, the Disaster. Oh, wait, oh, wait. This is a Mega Pack. Dark Magician Circle, Magical Circle, whatever it's called. This is the beautiful version. I love this version. I was just like, oh, we got the rare. Nope, that's it. The Dark Magical Circle, that's a very nice hit. Block Dragon's also a really good card. That turned out to be a really good pack, Light Sworn Judgment. Yeah, that was super solid. I really love this version of Dark Magical Circle. It's it's absolutely beautiful. The Secret Rare looks really good. Some cards, the Secret Rare just hits perfectly. Up next, OTS Tournament Pack 5. Will we get an ulti out of any OTS pack? I'm starting to worry. We have the Kage Tokage, let's go. Wait, I thought it was a super scapegoat. And we have 
Swing of Memories. All right, that was a normal summoning card. All right, Code of the Duelist, a 2017 pack with Firewall Dragon, the original print, the non errata Can we pull it? Launcher Commander. I don't think it's that expensive, though, because of the errata. Legacy Hard, the Jack Wyvern, the Ascended of Thunder. Oh, Rux and Special. Pass the Cybers Wizard. The Rux and Specials. Probably a lot of them in this video, not gonna lie. There's probably a lot. Battles of Legend, Lights Revenge. Epic pack. I didn't really open much of this at all. We have a big eye. Okay, big eye. Very cool. His eye is big. We got the uh, Sadie on the Time Lord. The Twilight Ninja Kagan. Miracle Contact. And... Time Maiden. I don't think Time Maiden's too great, but it is a Maiden of Time, so we, we'll take that, I guess. Okay. Pendulum Evolution. Yeah, this set is insane. No, it's not. It's not. This is this is a set that I've not opened a lot of, but it is just not very good. We have... Okay, the pack is being a little weird here. I want it to lay flat. There we go. We've got the Time Pendulum Graph. Very cool. Black Fang Magician. The Hypno Sister. Enlightenment Paladin. And the Zephraxi treasure. The wait, what was the foil? Wait, there's two ultras and three supers. There's no secrets. Okay, that's kind of lame, but okay, all right. Not don't expect much out of Pendulum Evolution. We have Duelist Pack Dimensional Guard. These came out back to back. Oh, these are both so awful. Ugh. Okay, yeah, not great set. Cyber Tutu Bond, the Chain Resonator, Cyber Spectrum, Cyber and Train Tranger. And then, oh, a Super Benton. That's actually kind of sick. That might actually be, if anything's worth something, it's the Super Benton, probably. How are we only in 2017? This is like insane. Oh my gosh. This is insane how many packs there have been. Okay, we have Maximum Crisis, maybe an Ash Blossom. Let's do a random pack trip. We got a Sapphire Swallow. We got the uh, Digital Bug Ladybug, the Phantom Spiral Power, the Zodiac Gathering, Zodiac Cataroos, the Bababoon, Boo Bug Signal, Diddy Stone King Darius, and... The Sylvan Princess Sprite. So just a Sylvan. Okay, nothing too insane. All right, we're on to one that this one took me forever to get in the first every pack opening. Actually, a pretty rare pack. I think, is this the one with Max C or is this the one with maybe Solemn Strike? I don't know. It's something like that. It's it's a very expensive card uh, that is pretty playable. So it was like basically all opened up. If we pull one of those, we're losing any ulti. Actually, I don't care if it's good or bad. I just want an ulti at this point. Here we go. The Super Anti Kaiju War Machine Mecha Doggerin. Barrier Statue of the Inferno. And a DD Swirl Slime, some more DD stuff. The Swirl Slime, very creepy looking card, actually. On to the Duelist Saga. Actually, an awesome set. I think this is like, this might be 2016. We might be moving into 2016. Here is Cyber Dragon. Very nice. Cyber Dragon. Very cool. The Sukiyomi is actually worth a few bucks, I think. Lightwing Shield. Power Wall. And Legacy of a Hero. So Tsukiyomi and Cyber Dragon are not bad. So a couple of decent pulls on that. We will take that. Now on to more Star Pack. Battle Royale. Woohoo! Star Pack. Let's go. Super excited. What will we pull out of the Star Pack? DD Oracle King DRK. Swirl Slime again. And you'll send you Sinchu L. All right, with the uh, Star Pack foiling. All right, we got some Yo Sinju stuff. Pretty funny. Now Fusion of Forces. This is one that we did not originally have first edition last time. Uh, we accidentally had Unlimited, so we had to go with Unlimited. So let's see if we can pull that Secret Rare Alistair. I don't know. Fright for Sheep. Let's go. Predaplant Moray Nephethys. The Squid Drosera. The Fluffle Penguin. Oh, Greedy Venom Fusion Drag. I feel like I pull this every time out of this pack. I think it's actually okay. It's not insane, but it's okay. Raging Tempest, we are definitely in 2016, I think. Okay, I say definitely, I think. I'm not really sure completely, but this is Raging Tempest. This has the Zodiacs. Synth Amplifier. We've got the Void Feast. Super Quantum Offense Strike. The Zodiac Barbaro. Wind Witch Glass Bell. Okay, that's an Ultra that's not guaranteed. Beginning of it, Heaven and Earth. That was a Duel Links card as well. Nice Ultra Rare. We are taking that. We're taking what we can get when it comes to pulls because we haven't had a lot so far. Now we have a movie pack, Obelisk the Tormentor. I don't necessarily do all of these because like there's a lot of packs with like just one card in it, but I did get one of these. So we're going to open it up. This is the release with the Dark Side of Dimensions movie. So they, they not only had a bunch of cards, but they are a bunch of packs. They also had cards so they have like three different of the same set then they have like obelisk the tormentor promo which this looks really amazing and secret rare gold really nice so that's actually a pretty sick card to get out of there and we also had the gold edition released with the movie very nice the gold edition of the movie pack let's go we have the uh, gara ghoul the uh, <laughs> the gara ghoul the kayubic king all right dark magician gold rare all right let's go that's super sick that's beautiful silver gadget okay Induced Explosion and the Spiritual Swords of Revealing Light. All right, so we did get the Dark Magician. That's pretty amazing. We're taking that. I like the Secret Rare version of this too. It looks really, really good. All right, we are taking that for sure. OTS Pack 3. Will we get an Ultimate Rare? Will it happen? Will it be amazing? Will it be epic? I don't know. Doom Shaman. 
Knight and Sorcerer. We got the Domain of the True Monarch. I forgot there's only three cards. Domain of the True Monarch. Super rare. We'll take it. Destiny Soldiers. This has the secret rare of Destiny Hero Celestial that people were using in the DPE engine. So I would love to pull that. We have Prometheus, King of Shadows. Veil of Darkness. This was a secret rare in glass, I think. Looks pretty beautiful in that secret rarity. Destiny Draw. Nice. Dark Lord Eida, the Array. And Banishment of the Dark Lords. Uh, Dark Lords. I think that's actually a decent pack. I think that's a pretty good card. Yeah, we're definitely in 2016 now because we have Invasion Vengeance coming up. This one has the Starving Venom Fusion Dragon, I believe. I think that's the card on the front. We have the Acel Combination Device, the Hydron Hawk, Christian Impact, the Burnout. Oh, it's Creator Burnout. I'm just kidding. Subterra Behemoth, Sty St Stygo Kraken. Okay, Stygo Kraken. Doki Doki's in this set. Gradle Slime and Crimson Entry. Interesting to see where some of these like cards originate. They get reprinted later. Duelist Pack, Rivals of the Fair. We're up to another Light Edition. Can we pull something out of a Light Edition? That's like more than a rare. I doubt it, but let's see if we can do it. Silent Swordsman Level 7. Necro Face. Wait, is that money? It might be in a common. And then Dragon Shrine. Necroface might actually be pretty decent. I'm going to put that in the pile to look up later, but very, very decent. Now we have another Duelist Pack Rivals of the Pharaoh. Let's see what we can get. I don't even know what you can get in here. I've never opened a box of this. I've only opened a couple packs. Level 5 Spirit. Oh, no. No, not the Spirit Message. L, please. Come on, Sirskit. Si oh, Silent Paladin. Wait, is the L it's reversing our L? Maybe it's like a reverse L because we've kind of had a rough start. Now we get an Ultra right after the L, so maybe that's saying our L is over. Is L now a good luck charm? We're about to find out. Mega Pack 2016. This is probably the one I've opened the least, like even l less than like 2015, 2014, because they don't put these in any like mystery products. I don't even know what will be in here. Shirinui Samurai. We've got the Harmonic Oscillation. The Ignite Veteran, the Twilight Ninja. We got the Follow Wing. Galaxy I, uh, R's, <laughs> Ice Full Armor Photon Dragon. Trap Tricks with Felizia. This got an ulti later, so I think it's actually a decent card. Super Soldier Shield and the Oracle King DR. Not a bad pack there. DD Scroll Slime. Oh no, the Putrid Pudding Body Buddies. Oh no, not the Body Buddies. Dragons of Legend Unleashed. So we are actually back to the real Dragons of Legend before they did the reprint. Let's see if we can get something. Amulet Dragon added again. Can we get, I think Dark Magician Girl the Dragon Knights in here as an Ultra. I have Tomias, that's actually good. It did get the uh, Gosher reprint, which is interesting. Number 59, Crooked Cook. I think that's two bucks. The Cardian and Despian Uranus. Couldn't be a video without pulling Uranus. Onto the Dark Illusion. This is a set I've barely opened. Like, in general, this is probably one of the least open sets by me in terms of, like, all the sets ever. I've not opened a lot of it. I don't know much about it except it's a Dark Magician-themed set, I think. Uh, Midbreaker Field. We got the Fairy Tale Snow. Okay, that's a great card. We got the Red Gardena. It's like a shield with horns. Magical Something. That's a classic. And... The number 81 Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Super Dora is in here. Okay, Trimid Fortress. That's actually a pretty cool card when you play a Machina. It actually works out for that deck. On to OTS Pack 2. Still have not pulled an ulti out of these. Feeling a little bit sad about that. Can we start it now? I'm okay with, with starting late. That's okay. The Infernity Archfiend. Temple of the Skull. This is like a TP8 reprint, I think. Something like that. Really old card. And then a Super Quonsal... Quantum blue layer. I don't know if that's any good or not, but it's not an ulti. That's all I know. So that's a little sad. Now we're on a shining victories. We could pull the galaxy. What is it called? The blue eye spirit dragon out of here, which is uh, the one we pulled earlier, but the original version. We could get first edition secret rare, which would be really beautiful. Let's see if we can do it. We have protector with eyes of blue. Digital Bug Core Beige. We've got the Dwarf Star Dragon Planeter. The Gear Gang. A lot of dueling scars in here. Cuban. Fortissimo. Master's Eyes of Blue, and it might be next. The Performer Pal Odd Eyes Unicorn, and... Oh, I thought we had it. Stardust Cypher Dra Divine Dragon is actually not guaranteed either, though. So that's another nice ultra rare. I thought we were going to get it for a second when I saw that. I was like, yes. No, it didn't quite happen, though. That's okay, because we have a Light Edition pack coming up. Woo, yeah, very exciting. That'll that'll make it better. Light Edition. Here we go. We have the... Pan Wait, is that the beginning? Wait, what? We got a rare, and then we got Upside Down. Wait, what? Nightmare Wheel? Okay, we got a rare at least, I guess. That's a Panther Warrior. Is that an alt art? What is that from? That's from, I don't even know. Millie? Oh, it's from, wait. Oh yeah, it's not a reprint set, is it? Is it a reprint set? Actually, I don't even know. Yeah, it's a reprint set, but some of them are like, I guess, alternate artworks. Weird, okay, La Jin, there's an alternate artwork. Gandora, the Dragon of Destruction. And Thousand Dragon, okay, yeah. So a lot of uh, 
OG card uh, alternate artworks, which is actually a pretty cool idea. And finally, we are ending the OTS with tournament pack one. This has dark law inside, which is over $400. So if we do pull one ulti and it's that, I'm not going to be complaining. You know what I'm saying? Oh no, I forgot it's at the front. It's not a dark law. It's a performer power guitar turtle, which is really cool. Monster Gate, Cyber Dragon, Nova. Okay, those are both pretty decent. We did open a couple of dark laws on the channel, which was pretty awesome back in the day, but <sighs> unfortunate. That was uh, at the front. So we're officially getting into old school because like that, this is now an astral pack territory. We got premium gold infinite edition. You know, it's feeling a lot older at this point. We have a Bahamut shark. That is a great start with a very beautiful gold. Not even a secret, just a regular Cosmo dogfighter spell shattering arrow dark advance and the oh the alish the metal branch of the burning abyss very very beautiful gold rare cards we're liking those wing raiders i actually really like this set i think it's a pretty cool set wing raiders a lot of cool cards we can get we got a number 66 master key beetle beautiful rank up magic astral force call of the haunted dark rebellion xd's dragon Oh, a number 101 Silent Honor arc. We could have gotten the Ghost Rare out of uh, Duels from the Deep, but still a really nice card. Zubaba General. A lot of rank fours in that set, which when you play that in like uh, auction series, very good. Now we have Breakers of Shadow. The Bosch set. Chris Bosch. Let's go. Wizard Buster Destruction Sword. Robot Buster Destruction Sword. Shiranui Samurai. The Blackwing Harmaton. 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 The Dust. The Odd Eyes Advent. And... Red Eyes Retro Dragon. Very cool. I like the retro and I like the red eyes. So very, very nice. Dino Mist Rush. Now we are okay. We're back to Ghost Rares. Dimension of Chaos. This is the first or actually the final set with Ghost Rares until they brought them back like last year or whatever. So this is this is where we're getting into the good stuff. So hopefully we can start pulling amazing now. So let's pull a Ghost Rare. Let's do three. I think that should be fine. We have a Magic Spectre Crow Yada. Deskbot Jet. Super Every Samurai Soul Horns. Super Every Samurai Drum. Ignite Veteran. DD Swirl Slime, Gradle Cobra, Formal Pal Splash Mammoth, and Formal Age Plush Fire. All right, this is actually a banned card, so that's kind of funny. But Formal Age Plush Fire pulled in the every pack opening. We will take that. On to Astral Pack 8. Astral Pack, look. Okay, OTS didn't pull. Okay, it's at the front. I got to remember that. Didn't pull us anything, so you got to pull something. We got the Envoy of the Evening Twilight Super, Machine Dupe as a common. Actually, a very nice super rare. We will take that. I got to remember because not only do they put it at the front, they point it towards where you open it. So you just see it immediately, which is unfortunate. All right, high speed riders. What you got? You've got Red Dragon Archfiend in a common, which is pretty weird. Pr pretty awesome. Red Cocoon. We got the Krebons. It's a classic uh, Duelist Genesis card. Cyframe Driver. Okay, and. Ooh, Psy Frame Lord Zeta super. All right. I don't think it was guaranteed supers at this point. So that's actually a pretty nice pull. We're taking that. All right. We're on a, a nice track here. Mega 10 2015. Let's pull something big. I don't know what's in 2015 uh, Mega 10. So I don't know what can be big and what won't. Lynn Bloom. We've got the uh, Toy Vendor classic. Sylvan Water Slide. The Battle Guard King. Command Performance. Fluffle Bear. Galaxy Tyranno. Knight Dragolich? Pot of Riches, we see, we meet again, Pot of Riches, at it again. Brian Earth, Brian, it's not Brian. <laughs> Brian, lousy toy, Brian, all right. Now we go to Clash of Rebellion. This set has a lot of really great cards, so not even like high rarity, but the Ghost Rare in here is one of my favorite Ghost Rares, so if we could pull that, I'm down. We also had an error pack out of this set recently, so I'm also down for that. That would be pretty cool. Ignite Margrave, we got the Extinction on schedule, all poor dinos. Opera the Moidus Diva, we got the Hat Tricker, Stilt Launcher, we got the Aroma Jar, a very annoying card. Super Every Samurai Blowtorch and Cosmo Forerunner with the Secret Blast, a burn card. Very interesting. Okay, nothing too great there. Let's continue on to Dragons of Legend 2, which has Toon Kingdom Secret Rare. Very beautiful and awesome card that we could potentially pull out of here. So let's do it. Let's pull that Secret Rare. We have Prediction. We got the Toon Rollback. Aqua Actress Orone. We got the Black Cat. Bat. <laughs> Black Catastrophe and... The Rocket Hermos Cannon Secret Rare. All right, the Hermos Cannon. Nothing insane. Okay, Tools Pack Battle City. What can we pull? Ooh, a Foolish Burial. That's pretty sick. Wait, is that our pull or not? I don't I don't know. Legendary Fisherman, Magical Stone Excavation, Jack's Knight, and Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. Interesting. So Foolish Burial is a nice rare, but it's weird how that's right at the beginning, though. As I said, we're going to see a lot of different ways they've organized the cards and like put where the rares are, how many cards in the pack, you know. We're going to see all the different stuff as we go through here. we got the Command Performance. Constellar and Raid Raptor Nest. Okay, nothing too crazy. That's it's just Star Pack, Arc V. I didn't even say the name because it's Arc V, you know. Astral Pack seven time. All right, we're, we're going to learn from our mistakes. We're going to open it like this. We're going to go like this. And then we're going to do a little turn action like that. We're going to do a little bit of this. And we're going to pull an ultimate rare. Watch this. We have a Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, Spiritual Wind Art, Miyabi, and 
level limit area a that is not a ultimate rare but we tried we did our best we put some effort in you can't can't fault us there okay cross souls come on let's pull something big let's pull a ghost rare. i'm down for it cross souls ghost rare pretty cool one the clear wing sinker i think yosin whirlwind we've got the shadal zephyr core Harmonic Oscillation. We've seen a lot of these cards before. It's funny to see them come back. Chosen of Zephra, the Edge Gem Saw, Primitive Butterfly, and Zephra Nui, Secret of the Yangzing, and Yosinju. Oh yeah, there's no uh, there's no foil in every pack at this point. Okay, we are making our way through this. Not very quickly. I was gonna say pretty quickly, but not really very quickly. We have World Superstars. Actually, some pretty cool cards in here. Oh, this is the one that could have the blue eyes in it. High Five the Sky is actually a pretty cool card. Um, what is happening here? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Something crazy happened to that pack. So that got, okay, the whole pack is completely waxed. Maybe that, that could be like, uh, I don't even know what that could be. But High Five the Sky got kind of waxed, unfortunately. Pretty cool card because, you know, it's anime related. Okay, hopefully uh, none of the other cards are damaged. We got Return of the Bling here. Let's go. Oh, no. Secret Rares at the front too. Santa, no, they might have multiple. Santa Claus, Cat Shark. Okay. We've got the Herald of Perfection. Okay. Rank up Magic Barbarians for us. And number 101, Silent Honor Arc. We've seen him a couple of times. Gold Series, some nice pulls. I wish we had left that Winged Dragon and Raw pull in there from the other one. We, we pulled a couple of packs like that could have been in here. And we opened them in a different video and they were insane pulls. Secret Forces, which would have been nice to have right now. Secret Forces, the Yosinju. Okay, Preparation of Rights, pretty decent. We got the uh, Shirit Strategist of the Necros, which will be spawned. And Ritual Beast Tamer Lara, Secret Rare. All righty. Now it's time for Secrets of Eternity. Let's go. What can we pull out of Secrets of Eternity? Will it be epic? Will it be awesome? We have the Soul Strike, the Toy Knight, Formal Pal, Pragnaga. We got the Gigabyte. We've got the Ruxin Special with the Gotham Second Call and Super Heavy Samurai Trumpeter. That is not guaranteed. That is a super rare. We'll take it. Very nice. Well, that was where I pulled my first Ghost Rare, that pack. Now Astral Pack six this is a very weird looking six but it is a six let's see if we can pull an ulti here okay we're not gonna fall for it this time we're gonna do the, the spin move again hopefully it'll work hopefully it has an ulti right there we have the uh valdegion the dark dragon lord the royal command we did it it worked and Bujin Carnation, super rare. The Bujins have been carnated. All right, next up, this is a pack that I have never opened before. The power pack from Knights of the Round Table. So we didn't open this one in the last opening because we missed it. We have, oh, a mystical space typhoon. That is the platinum rarity. Let me know in the comments. I want to know, do you like the platinum rarity or do you not? People either hate it or love it. I think it looks good, but it does not age well. Like as it gets older, it starts to look really bad. Torrential, are these guaranteed? And Lance, oh wow, those are some nice cards. Okay, we'll take that. Those actually, I really like how they look right now because they're not all worn down. They look really nice. Now it's time for the new challenges. I think we're in 2014 now. I think we're all the way in 2014, which is pretty insane. Already in 2014, Super Heavy Samurai Soul Breaker. Command Performance, we got the Satellar Knight, Procyon. We got the Is Hex Teller Knight, Ensure a Sacred Tree. The Herald of the Arc Light, oh, there we go. That's a good super. All right, solid pull there, we're taking that. The pulls have been pretty decent in terms of the supers, but the high rarity has not been there. Now we have Legendary Collection 5Ds, a very decent set. Legendary Collections are very solid for value. Let's see if we can get some value out of these. We have the Blackwing Gust, the, Bla the Back Blast, I think that's the funniest name ever. Blossom Bombardment. Red Dragon, Archfiend Com. We've seen two of those so far in the opening. Flare Resonator, both commons. The cards for Black Feather. What will we get here? The TGIX or the TGX1 HL and Vanity's Emptiness Secret. That's got to be worth something. That's probably really good. I bet that's the highest rarity of Vanity's Emptiness. So that is a really, really nice pull. We're taking that one. I bet that's definitely some value. I'm happy there. All right, 2014. We are indeed in 2014 because we have the mega, mega pack. What will it be? Trap Tricks. We've got the Bujingi Boar, the White Dragon, the Bujingi Regalia, the Sylvan Guardiok, Ghost Trick Yeti, Brother of the Fire Fist, Vampire Sorcerer and Pot of Dichotomy. So we got Pot of Riches and Pot of Dichotomy so far. We get Pot of Greed to LLB, maybe. The Bujingi Pavo, super rare. Okay, 2014, not too bad. Now it's time for Duelist Alliance. This is one one day I want to get a great pull. Like we could pull Shadal, big ulti. We could pull a Ghost Rare. You know, there's some good stuff in here. I just have never really pulled it. So I'm hoping that right now is the time. Let's see. We have Satellar Knight, Onkali, Draco Sension. Stellar Knight Wave. We got the Resonance Insect, the Super Heavy Samurai Swordsman, Feast of the Wild Level 5, 
Sidal Hedgehog, we have UA Mighty Slugger, and we have a... Ooh, Castell the Sky Blaster Musketeer. This is the original print of this. Actually a very good rank four, so a pretty solid card. It's probably been reprinted a lot, so I bet the value's not insane, but it's still a pretty good pull. Now Battle Pack Monster League. We are indeed still recording. This is not a great set. Yeah, not a great set, but it's it's classic for being in mystery boxes. Sword of Revealing the Light. We've got the Quacking or Beetle. Blast with Chain. I actually really like this rarity. It actually hits in a light. Look at that. That's pretty sick. Blast with Chain and no entry. I actually like that a lot more than I thought I did. If you don't look at it right, it looks kind of dumb, but it looks great right there. Astral Pack 5. No ulti so far out of the tournament packs, which is not to be surprised. I mean, the, the thing most likely to be light or weighed when we open are... Uh... Oh, I guess they changed it they turned it around okay are definitely like the tournament pack stuff so let's see if we can actually get something soul exchange spellbook library the heliosphere and adventure patrol art that's a nice super rare okay not crazy but it's something then we have our super starter up power packs these came in of like a super starter thing i don't even remember what's in them but there's an a and a b pack here's the b one let's see what's inside i think it's always the same cards we have dark hole we have call of the haunted dd warrior lady amazonas and karaz yeah that's right they're always the same so that's an ultra rare dark hole which is pretty sick i'll take that a i don't remember what's in here either but i believe it's the same every time yeah, it's always the Odd Eyes Dragon. Yeah, that makes sense. Sacred Crane Swords, uh, actually pretty cool staples, you know, pretty solid stuff. We'll take that. Now what's on to, those are just cool ones to open up and show you guys. So you've probably never seen that pack before. And it's just like kind of like a starter deck kind of thing where it's like the same thing over and over. Here's a Pryo pack. Potential Ghost Rare, Ultimate Rare stuff in here. Let's see if we can get it. Let's pull a Ghost in this. That would be so cool. Artifact Bayal Talk, the Shogi Knight. All right, we've got the Ghost Rare Parade. Evo Singularity, the Ghost Rider Doll, Scrap Factory, Umbral Horror Ghost, Rose Archer, and Double Dragon Ascent. Okay. Dragons of Legend, the original. This has the original Dark Magician Girl, which is actually still pretty valuable. It's a secret rare, so uh, we got a little bit of a mini spoiler there. We have a Blackwing Oroshi. So if we could pull that, which I might not based on the spoiler, Prominence Hand, we have a Relayed Soul and a Berserker Soul. So we actually spoiled that a little bit. But last time in this video, we actually pulled the Dark Magician Girl, which was pretty nuts. Ended up grading a nine though, unfortunately. Premium Gold. On to the more gold stuff. I love the gold stuff. Some really good pulls and potential reprints in here from back then, which are old at this point. Number 32 Shark Drake. Big Belly Knight. Yeah. He's a big belly knight. Pretty cool. Number 13, Embodiment of Crime. Necro Guard. Now that's a sick reprint. And a Gold Stark. Another sick reprint. We will take that. The golds. Old gold, guys. Better than new. Who knows? All right. Star Pack 2014. What you going to do to us? You going to give us anything good? We got a Thor Lord of the Acer, Gaga Bolt, and Zababa Buster. All right. Nothing crazy there. Here's another one that took me forever the first time. Astral Pack 4. This is like, I think is Max C. So if that's actually in here, we're going to lose it. First, we're going to, it's a very expensive pack, by the way. We're going to do this so we don't spoil it. I don't remember if which way it, okay, wait. I think we're okay that way. All right, okay, so it doesn't spoil it. We have a Maat, Maat, Reasoning. Can't, come on, give us the maxi. That would be insane. We have Spellbook of Eternity, a classic Duel Link Spellbook card. Yeah, I did play Spellbooks at one point in Duel Links. I know, you should probably hate me for that, but it was actually fun. <laughs> Legacy of the Valiant, let's keep going. Let's pull something big out of here. Come on, one, two, three, four. We have Xyz Avenger, Dark Artist, Black Brachios, the Ghost Trick, Neka Sume. We got the Overlay Sentinel, the Sire Norca, Perdre, Ghost Trick Go Round, and Overlay Booster. Wait, that's it. There's nothing. It's just a rare. No. We can't give up yet. War of the Giants Round Two. We want to pull something epic. Come on, guys. Let's pull something good. I don't know what can be War of the Giants Round Two, but let's just see what we can get. Blade Knight. There's a lot of cards in here, so we're gonna go through like this. Berserk Gorilla. I need this card. I need it for my deck. Elf and the Raven. So, hey. We might not be worth a lot, but we need it. Black Blackwing Elf and the Raven, Big Tusk Mammoth, Dark Core, Tribute to the Duke. These are actually sick cards. Jiu-Jitsu, High Priestess of Prophecy. Are these guaranteed? I don't know how this works, but these are actually kind of sick. All right, we'll take that. Shadow Specter's time. Recently, we pulled the Ghoster out of this, which was pretty awesome. Yeah, I was very hyped about that. Can we do it again? I'd be down. I'd be down for the ulti as well. It's a very nice looking card. Ghost Trick Scare. We got the Malasevorous Fork. White Dragon Wyver Burster. The uh, Dragon Shield. We got the Numbers Overlay Boost. Ujingi Ibis. Battle and Boxer Rabbit Puncher. And we have... Bujingi Crow with a Mythic Tree Dragon. Okay, the Mythic Tree Dragon. But don't worry, we are back to Legendary Collections. Joey's World. Joey's World is a very epic pack. A lot of good stuff you can pull out of here. Secrets, Ultras, and Supers in the set. Let's do it. We have Black Stego, 
We have Tail Swipe. Lord Poison. What a name. Fairy Box Classic. Chain Destruction. Here we go. What's next? Zombie World. Not a bad Ultra. Okay, pretty solid. What's up for the secret? I think it's next. Gold. Woo Loot. Or Dark World. Woo Loot. Woo Lord. And the Hysteric Party with stuff on it. Like a print dot. Like two print dots. That's weird. And then a Song of the Thunder. Okay. Not a terrible pack there for Joey. Zombie World's definitely a nice ultra rare. Astro Pack three time. I don't think they've... They, based on last time, it shouldn't be... No, it's it's revealed this time. So they, these are the least consistent packs ever with how they open. We got to open them this way. All right. I think it could be at the front. Let's do this. We have a Vampire Dragon. Deck lock down, baby. Deck lock down. We have a miracle fertilizer, just a super rare. Looks like Harry Potter when they're like, you know, spraying those dudes in the garden. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that. Judgment of the Light, first edition. Chicolates time, baby. Let's go. Believe in the Chicolates. Let's pull it. Come on. We have the Super Defense Robot Monkey. We got the Googly Eyes Drum Dragon. Umbral Horror Will o' the Wisp. The Kuja Kuja Kuja. <laughs> Super Defense Robot Elephant. The Umbral Horror Uniform. Where's the Where's the Chicolates? Fishborg Archer. Brother of the Firefist Boar. And number C104, Umble Horror Masquerade. That's a super rare. There we go. That is not guaranteed at this point in time. Very good. Now number hunters. Let's get some numbers. Let's hunt them. And then let's get them. Unformed Void. Very interesting level four monster. Go, go, Gardner. Kage to Kage. Insect armor with laser cannon. And the heroic challenger. Ambush soldier. How does, how is a soldier an ambush soldier? Like, how does one person really ambush you? It doesn't really work like that. Um, and now we have War of the Giants. Let's go. Then we had part two earlier. Now we have War of the Giants. This is not part one. This is just the first one. I don't know what's inside these. So let's see. We have a uh, miniaturizer. Miniaturize, not er. Okay, miniaturize. Cyber jar. We got the... Uh, oh, wait. That's got a rarity to it. You guys see that? They really like to experiment with these weird rarities that are not that great, but they do it a lot. Now we are back to more power-up packs. So we got Super Starter Power-Up Pack a and B. So let's start with B. We have the Rank Up Magic Limited Baryons Force. The Magic Cylinder Super. Wait, is that the only super for that? That's actually really cool. That looks really nice. I'm going to pull that aside. That's very cool. Then we have the A, Super Starter A. It will be number C39 Utopia Ray V. Mystical Space Typhoon Super, which has a million prints. Genosaurus, Gentle Mander, and Crane Crane. All right, very interesting. And now we're getting into the really crazy stuff. Lord of Tachyon Galaxy, really cool ghost rare in this set. All the uh, d the dragon lords and stuff like that. So a lot of potential really cool stuff. We have the Brotherhood of the Firefist Wolf. We got the Burner Dragon Ruler of Sparks. Little Fairy. Battle and Boxer Head Geared. We got the Shark Fortress. Brotherhood of the Firefist Leopard. We've got the Tata Kawa. We've got the Knight, the number 69, and the KO, the number 69. That is a legendary one. Very cool. Now on to Hidden Arsenal 7. Can we get anything good in this opening? Because so far it's been rough. We have Constellar. That starts off with the Seeker Rare. Okay. A literally all Constellar, four in a row, and then Geshki Advance. All right, the uh, the Kaos. The Chaos. I don't know. Astro Pack 2. Hey, you want to get us an ulti, please? That could be nice if you could uh, help us out with that. We haven't pulled an ulti in this entire video. Not great. Oh, oh, it's at the front. Dang it. I couldn't remember. Jim and I sparked. Pot of Avarice has a common. That's pretty sick. I'm going to pull that out. And then Cyber Phoenix. So the, uh, the Astro Packs have not been great for us. All the way in 2013 Star Pack. We are way back in time at this point. Now, if we start hitting good now, though, on the good stuff, I, that'd be really awesome. Let's go. We have a Metamorph, a Nitwit Outwit, and a number 34. Yes, Ruxin 34. Beautiful. That's probably a good sign. Number 34 terabyte. Cosmo Blazer up next. This cover card has never had a reprint. It has Ultra Rare that's extremely expensive. It has Ghost and Ulti in this set. So any of those are big hits. Let's see if we can hit one. I'm down for it. What is it called again? The Heart Earth Dragon. We've got the Bacon Saber, Crimson Sunbird, Hazy Flame Griffin. Dimension Gate, Fire Formation Tenken, the Inari Fire, Spear Shark, Crimson Blader, and Spike Shield with Chain. A classic. No, not the Spike Shield with Chain. Come on. Okay, Astral Pack 1. This is your time to make up for the sins of OTS and Astral Pack before you. You can make up for it. You can pull us an Ultimate Rare. Let's do it. Here we go. We have Dragon Ice. Swift Scarecrow and Gen X Undyne, which we have pulled many a time, actually. Kind of rhymes, actually. Pretty cool. Abyss Rising. Don't you worry, guys. We are going to keep grinding. We're going to pull something, right? Hopefully. Spam it in the comment. Not in the comment. Not, it's not spam. I guess this is not a live stream. But put in the comments some luck because we're going to need it for the rest of these packs. Mermel Abyss Lung. We have a one-shot wand. I'm being attacked right now. Nim oh, it's, I just hit it. A little bug. Nimble Angler. Bull Blader. 
Stoic of Prophecy, the House Dustin from Game of Thrones. We've got the uh, Mogmol, Marbella Biscundi, and Lemuria, the Forgotten City. All right, just another one, but that's okay because we have Legendary Collection Yu-Gi's World First Edition coming up. This is a very expensive pack. These boxes are like $600 now, which is ridiculous. So each pack's about a hundred bucks. Inside, we could pull the Dark Paladin, Exodia, Dark Magician Girl, which is very expensive. So if we could pull that, I've never pulled it. It would be insane. This would be a good place to start and pull something amazing. Arm Dragon Level 7, the Tricky, Giant Germ, Mystic Swordsman Level 2, the Chain Destruction, DD Scout Plane, very nice. Upstart Goblin Ultra. Okay, that's very nice. Very solid value. And Mystic Tomato. All right. Probably not too crazy, but it is a nice uh, version of this card. And then a, oh, a Chaos Sorcerer. Okay. Maybe not a bad pack after all. The Mystic Tomato is not a great secret, but pretty cool classic throw, you know, throwback card. So we'll take that. All right. I wonder how much money we've lost compared to our 15,000 so far. Probably quite a bit because we haven't pulled too much. We pulled a lot of like solid value cards, but nothing like huge. Return of the Duels. We've pulled this Ghost Shard twice, but both in Unlimited. I would love First Edition. Guy Guy Rush. I think I still need it for my binder. Gallatin. Catapult Zone. 3,000 Needles. The Chronomaly Mayoi. Turnabout. Photon Caesar. And Fairy King Alder Vidich. And oh, an Ultimate Rare. Let's go. We finally got one. Super Dimensional Robot Galaxy Destroyer. Whoa. Okay, we got that weight off our shoulders. We pulled an ultimate rare. It's not probably not that crazy in terms of value, but I don't care at this point. I just want something. So ultimate rare has been pulled in the video. Oh, finally, it took long enough. We had to go through 10 years of uh, packs to actually pull one, which a lot of the years didn't have ultis except for the tournament packs. So there's that, but that's pretty awesome. So we can feel good about that. We pulled an ultimate rare. Now we have another secret rare, Laval Lakeside Lady. She's by the lake. Okay. We've got the Gem Knight Crystal, the Mollusk, and the Stella. All right. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If you were worried about pulling a Ghost Shirt, guys, we just pulled our ultimate finally, but don't worry. We've got one coming here. Gold Series Haunted Mine. If you don't know about this set, every pack has a Ghost Rare. So there's 25 cards. You guys can see it's a pretty thick pack. Every single one has a Ghost Rare. So I don't remember where exactly they put the Ghost Rare. It's like in the middle, I think, somewhere back there. So we're just going to go through it like it is and go for our hopefully a Blue Eyes White Dragon because that comes in here. Last time we did this, we did pull the Blue Eyes. So we're going to go for that. Let's go. Blue Eyes White Dragon. Let's pull it. Red Ogre. Vampire Lady. I'm not going to do it from the side because uh, it's just kind of weird with how many cards there are here. Don's Luke, very nice. I think some of these are actually money. Like Don's Luke might be good. Copy Knight, we got the Pyramid Turtle. I think Don's Luke actually might be like five bucks. So uh, you'll know if it pops up on the screen. Pyramid Turtle, oh, and there it is! The Blue Eyes White Dragon! I was just going through. I thought it was gonna be a little bit farther in. Apparently not. Okay, let's check this thing out. These things are notorious for foil scratching. Let's see. There is a print line there and there that I can see. I can already see a little bit there, yeah. So there's a bunch on this, but that's okay. We are two for two. When we open every pack, we pull the Ghost or Blue Eyes. So uh, I'm in for that trend. I like it. Very nice. Maybe next time we'll pull it out of Ghost from the past too as well. All right. So we just lifted our spirits a little bit. A couple of decent pulls in a row. One being an ulti, one being a ghost. Now we have Turbo. What is this? Turbo Pack 8? Okay, we're on the Turbo Pack 8. This is one I haven't opened a ton of. Uh, I don't remember what exactly is in here. There's a... Okay, this is pointed this way. Let's do it like this. Let's see if we can get something good now, guys. Let's go. Another good card. Can we pull something good out of a, a tournament pack? Hasn't happened yet. Flamebell Fire Dog, the Rock Bombardment, and Alligator Sword. I bet that's actually not that bad because it's probably not printed very often. So Alligator Sword, we will take that. All right, Epic Dawn. It's time for an Epic Dawn. Let's do this. Let's pull something good. We have the Goblin Berg. All right. Gap. He goes to the baby gap. We got the Ale Alex. Alex? Axe of Despair? Oh, oh wait. It has a different rear. I didn't even see it. Number 39 and Miracle Wake. All right. The is the Alex of Despair. On to Galactic Overlord. I don't know if I've ever pulled anything good out of the set. Like, not really, at least. Not like a ghost or anything. Yo, I think Yu-Gi-Mo pulled a ghost against us at one point out of this. We have Evil Sword Darwino. We got the Double Payback. Bright Star Dragon. The Wacky Magic. Evil Tile Lagosuko. Commander of Swords. Gaga Gardena and Hieratic Dragon of Sue. So nothing too crazy there, but that's okay. We're onto a guaranteed awesome pack, the Raw Yellow Mega Pack, because it has guaranteed foils in it with some pretty nice stuff usually. We have a Test Tiger at the front. Let's do this, make it more interesting. We have the Mizuki, pretty cool zombie card. We got the Galas Star Beast. Rocks and Special Pass, that Test Tiger we've already seen. The Fusion Recovery. Hero Mask, Ubel the Ultimate Nightmare as a rare, okay. Gladiator Proving Ground, pretty cool. 
Our Righteous Justice. If this was uh, e uh, Emergency Call, it would be a lot better. Ruby Carbuncle, I think, is a few bucks, so that's pretty decent. So, pretty solid pack there, but I always love those ones, like Secrets, Ultras, and Supers. Those are fun. Order of Chaos. I think we're still in 2012, right? Is an Order of Chaos in 2012? Something like that. I think it is. It's hard when the uh, they don't have, like, Mega Pack 2012 anymore, so it's very easy to keep track of then. We have Evil Swore at Terrias. Art of Freezing. Evil Tile Plorero. The Photon Circle. Double Defender. Insector Centipede. Photon Trident, Weights of Zen Machers, and Vampire Koala. Okay, right, interesting. With Zen Machers. Turbo Pack 7. I think I've opened a bunch of these, but I don't remember what's in here. You're gonna go like that. Okay, we didn't spoil it. Let's put this to the back. That feels like the foil. We have a Kotodama. Go Go the Gallon Ninja. Okay. And a Yellow Gadget. I think this one's. Wait, that's not guaranteed. This is actually a good hit. Yeah, because in. Turbo pack, there's no guaranteed foils. This is actually a solid hit. We finally got something good out of a turbo pack slash tournament pack. All right, yellow gadget. That's, I think, at least probably 10 bucks, something like that. All right, I'm taking it. I mean, we got to take what we can get with those tournament packs. They've been pretty rough. All right, that is sick. We've got uh, Hidden Arsenal 5. I don't think there's anything crazy in here. I think the secret's right at the front, but okay, good. So we can do it like this. We have the uh, the Winda. Oh, Winda. Uh, Gusta, it's a different Winda, but uh, Gishki. Gem Knight Garnet. And Laval Judgment Lord. Usually there's not much great in those packs, those uh, hidden arsenals. Okay, Photon Shockwave time, first edition. Let's go. Can we pull the Ghoster? I still need this one. I've needed this Ghoster for so long. I pulled one out of a mystery blister at one point, unlimited, but uh, then I sold it a long time ago. Should have kept it. I also need first edition though, which is this, that's what this is. So here we go. A Corno, he's a little corny. We got the Tri White, the Pinecono. We've got the uh, Gephiro. We've got the. <laughs> Violon, I'm destroying these names. Zen Merch, we got the uh, Copy Knight, and... Oh, I thought it was something when I saw the XEs. Thunder and Dragon, I mean, it's still something. It's an ultra rare that we are not guaranteed, so we will take that. But I thought maybe we had a chance for a second. And then I remember uh, it's not even an XEs monster, but you always think it is on the cover cards. Legendary Collection 2, the Dual Academy Years. This came out of Legendary Collection 2 Binder, because that's where the first editions come from. Can we pull something big here? We really like the Legendary Collections on this channel, so hopefully they can bless us back. Oh, we've seen like all my hated cards. We've seen Clock Tower Prison, Pu Puget Body Buddies, whatever it's called, Spear Message L. We've seen them all. Grind and We didn't actually see in Photon Shockwave, we had uh, the uh, the hair guy. We got the uh, the Blade Edge. Neo Space, Gladiator's Return, here we go. Cash, okay, I don't think this one's that great. What's the secret rare? Ooh, Gladiator Beast of Quest is actually decent, and then Magma Neos. Okay, that's actually a pretty solid one. I think it's around eight bucks, so we're taking an $8 card where we can get those. I mean, we're just trying to piece back a little bit of value here, and also a pretty cool card as well. Now we're on to Generation Force. This is one we have tried to open for a very long time. I did pull this for EX Gamer, the Ghost Rare Generation Force uh, Leviathan Dragon, so... I still would like to pull one myself, though, so I would like to pull one for me. Let's do it. Let's pull it right now. That was still an amazing moment, though, pulling it for EX Gamer. We got the Poseidon Wave, Future Glow, Skull Kraken, the Gear Giano, Explosive Urchin, Gusto Kodor, Cracking, Curse of the Circle. I think it would be next. Oh, the XCs gets me every time. Super submissible, submissible carrier arrow shark. That's still a super though. We are still hitting foils though. So I can't really complain about that, but man, I thought that was it. All right, speaking of cards that we really want, Dark Arm Dragon Ultimate Rare, Turbo Pack 6. This is one that I really struggled to find as well in the first uh, opening of every pack, but I think it was the third to last pack I got before I, the other two were really, really hard. This one was a little bit easier, but this could potentially have an ulti dad in it. So if it does, like, you know, that's just insane. It's very hard to open this like this. This is a very tightly sealed pack. Uh-oh. We just dropped the cards. Okay, we didn't. We didn't do anything. All right, we're going to do one from the back like this, or one from the front. We have a green cap uh, classic. The bug is back. I have not been able to... I got it! Mid opening. If this has a dad in it, I just killed the bug that's been haunting me for a week. So here we go. Let's see. I... Let's just, just pull it. Let's just pull it. Fusion Gate. If this is, this is going to be hilarious to the dads here. Red Dragon Arch, man. This dude's everywhere. As low rarity. Red Dragon Arch. He gets so disrespected. He didn't get a Ghost Rare for the longest time, and then they're putting him in common and rare. Like, come on, man. Okay, we are officially on to the final row, which is still a lot of packs, by the way. I'm just going to say that. We're starting it off with the World Championship 2011. This is pretty big. All the cards in here are pretty valuable. They're super rares. You can get, like, Alligator Sword Super. The baby dragon one. I don't know what order they go in. I think it's just two cards. So we're just going to open it up. I think they're both foil as well. Pretty expensive pack, by the way. So enjoy it. The two the two cards we get. Here we go. Let's just see. 
Metal Morph, okay, interesting one, and Metal Zoa, actually pretty cool though, I'll take that. There's definitely a little bit of a pack line on there, but Metal Morph and Metal Zoa, I'm a big fan of those cards. They're classic, uh, you know, anime cards and stuff like that. We're going to sleeve these up because these are a pretty big value. And does it in there. We have a Gold Series pack, Gold Series 4 Pyramids Edition. This comes in that box that's literally like shaped like a triangle. It's very weird. Uh, there's also a million cards in this, so we're just going to go like this. We've got a Spirit Reaper. Dark Lord Zerato, Five Headed Dragon, and this is a bunch of commons. So it's basically gold, a series haunted mind without the ghost share, which is interesting. And then let's see if there's any commons in here we want. Deck Devastation is pretty cool. Pendulum Magician is a cool reprint with like old school card. Prometheus, this was like a secret in Force of the Breaker, actually. Injection Fairy Lily, that's cool. Millennium Shield, my favorite card, but not my favorite artwork. There, there's my favorite artwork right there, if you guys can see it. Not the L Genesis Dragon, Zings and Who, I always thought that was a cool card. It's pretty good in Duel Links for a long time, which, you know, I like to mention Duel Links, so you're welcome. Now we're on a Duelist Pack Crow. Come on, can we pull something cool? Something epic. I mean, we pulled a lot of cool stuff, but we want some big stuff. I don't think Crow really has anything big, but we're just going to keep going. Backlash, Elf and the Raven. Bombardment and cards from Black Feather. Yeah, I, I, there's, you know, it's Duelist Pack Crow. What do you expect? It's a duel, Duelist Pack. That's what I was trying to think of earlier. Not Legendary Duelists. They're basically the same, but not. Now for Extreme Victory. Still have never pulled this Ghost Rare. We have pulled the Tour Guide, however. I would love to pull another one, though. I'm, I'm in for another Tour Guide. Let's do it. Tour Guide from the Underworld. Secret Rare. We have the Scrap Kong. I didn't know that was so old. Boon of the Mechlord Emperor. The Staplin. Karakuri Ninja. The Self Mummification. Mental Seeker. Power Up Adapter. TG Recipro Dragonfly. Can we get something else? And out of blue. I don't know. If, I don't know if you can. Recipro Dragonfly. I remember pulling that like 20 times in the auction series. So very funny. Now we can go for the Trishla. Actually, I think there was a card that was more expensive than the Trishla. Like a lot more expensive. I don't know if it still is though. But the Trishla is the most iconic card I would say out of here. Because obviously it's the cover card and everything. So let's open it up. Let's see what we can get. I don't know if we need to reverse this. Oh, we do apparently. Is it at the front? It probably is. Let's just play it safe. We have Dragoonity Militum. Fabled Chihuahua. No, I'm just kidding. Not Chihuahua. Brandy Stock. The uh, Naturia Strawberry. Gen X Power Cell. All right. Gen X Ally Power Cell. Okay. I don't think that was the one that was more expensive. It's just another card. Now to Turbo Pack, which did bless us with a super rare last time. So I'm feeling a little bit better about Turbo Pack. I kind of like Turbo Pack so far. Giving us some decent stuff. Let's see what we're going to pull this time. Let's do that. Let's do it the safe way this time again. Oh, no. That's not the safe way. We uh, almost spoiled it. We have a Black Salvo. Oh, there it is. Escape from Dark Dimension and the Six Samurai. Okay, so it looks like that one was at the back. You cannot keep track of these tournament packs. I dare you to try. It's very hard. Bonds Beyond Time movie pack. I think it's the same packs or the same cards every time, right? It's just the Malefic stuff. Am I right about that? We have Malefic Red Eyes, Blue Eyes. Blue Eyes is really cool. And so is Red Eyes. We got the John Gardner and Malefic Cyberman. I mean, those are those are pretty cool cards. Let's let's be honest. They're pretty sick. Okay, Storm of Ragnarok. Let's go. Still never pulled the Odin, by the way. Just saying. I've never pulled it. So maybe if you wanted today to be the day, Odin, you could you could show up. Come on. We have the Karakuri Cash Cash. Worm Jet Eclipse. The uh, Gamera of the Nordic Beast. The Six Samurai. Needle Ball. Gold Dust. Six Strike Thunder Blast. All right, we got a Seeker Rare. Foolish Return and Top Runner. All right. Secret Rare Six Strike Thunder Blast. I don't think that has a lot of value, but it is a Secret Rare. I am taking it. Back to Yusei. Duelist Pack Yusei 3, I believe. So there's a lot of Yusei. It's like they printed Yusei and Jaden a lot. Let's see what is inside. Blind Spot Strike, Stronghold Guardian, Synchro Gift, Sonic Chick, and Second Booster. All right, okay. Just commons in there. Nothing too crazy, but still cool to see those. Hidden Arsenal 3. Hidden Arsenal, not very exciting. It also got, somehow it, it got a reprint, Hidden Arsenal Chapter 1. I don't understand. Ashen Veil, vale, Fable Ultra, Shock Troops, uh, Hydrangea, and Worm Hagon. That's another one that reminds me of Duel Links. That was in the, uh, the Naturia deck in Duel Links. Turbo Pack 4. I always like this. I just like the color. I like green, personally. I'm a big fan of it. I know, it's just a personal preference. Okay, so it's not like that. I think last time was at the back, so White Hole, reprint of the original. Funny. Uh, yeah, this was in TP1, I think, or something. Dark Hole, and then... Advanced Ritual Art, just a regular rare. This one is one we've never opened a booster box of. Star Strike Blast only comes in first edition, actually, but some pretty valuable cards in here because, I mean, no one limited means there weren't a lot of prints of this, you know, set overall, which is kind of what they do nowadays, though. They don't print unlimited, which is interesting. Let's see if we can get a Ghost Rare. That would be pretty amazing. We have Scrap Searcher. The part of the pack is on my finger. Okay, we got the Scrap Searcher, Medallion of the Ice Barrier, the Nichiria Pumpkin. Okay, Br reminded me of the Duel Links. Necro Linker, the Cursed Bill. We've got Cursed Bill. We got Synchro Soldier. Oh, whoa! Oh, an ultimate rare glow up bulb! Not 
expecting that. That's a really big one. I think that's like a hundred bucks. Whoa, okay. I'm like shocked right now. This is definitely our best pull. I would say the blue eyes is awesome, but like it's out of a like one out of seven chance, you know, so it's not as crazy. This is a big pull. This is an ultimate rare. Woo, yes, we finally got something huge. All right, I'm feeling a lot better about this opening. We've kind of picked it up a little bit. We've got a couple ulties. We got a ghost rare, blue eyes. That's a big pull. A glow up bow ulti is really nice. All right, just a few more pulls like that. I'm going to be really happy. Duelist Revolution first edition. And if we're looking for one that could do it, Duelist Revolution. Got Pot of Awesome. We've got Effect Veiler Ultimate Rare. We've got... Um, Ghost Rare in here. We've got Solemn Strike, not Solemn Strike, Solemn Warning Ultimate Rare. Let's do it. Stronghold Guardian, Damage Eater, Wad Cannon. We've got the Pestilence, like Magic the Gathering, Amazonist Trainee, Blind Spot Strike, Rhino Taurus, Reanimation Wave, and a double cyclone. Okay, just a double cyclone. That's okay. We had just pulled something huge. We can't expect too much. Now we have the World Championship 2010. This one's interesting because they didn't do foils in this one. It's just rares. So uh, very, very, very weird. Okay, let's see what we got. I don't even remember what you can get. Droll bird. So yeah, droll, droll bird. Very weird. So droll and lock bird. Here's just droll bird. If you don't want the lock part, here you go. And then infernal flame Emperor. So this was a structure deck card that they then put in as a rare for some reason. Very weird. I don't really understand that, but they did it. Hidden Arsenal Chapter 2. What you got, buddy? What you got, Hidden Arsenal? Oh, we've got ourselves an Ice Barrier guy right at the front. His name is Dai Sojo. All right, the enemy of Ally of Justice, enemy catcher, the Fabled, Gen X, and Ally of Justice Unlimited. Back to Turbo Pack, which has blessed us with a super. We cannot complain. So last time it was not spoiling it. Okay, it's not spoiling it this time. Turbo Pack 3. Here we go. DD Crow. Okay, that's a nice common. Destiny Hero Diamond Dude, and come on, give us something good. Red Tiari. Okay, Red Tiari, probably not too bad, but uh, DD Crow's, I bet, is a couple of bucks because it's always worth something as the hand trap, you know? Oh, one of the oldest hand traps out there. Gold Series 3. I don't really know a lot about Gold Series 3. Haven't opened it a lot, so this is pretty cool because this one didn't have any extra packs. This is just a giant pack like the old ones. All right, right off the bat, we got the Gold Rares, which they seem to do for some reason. It's very weird. They just throw a bunch of extra commons in there. Don't know why they do that. What else is in here? Blackwing Armor Master, I think, is worth something. A Plague Spreader, okay, pretty solid. Okay, the Dimensional Alchemist as well. And then any good commons, we got the Blackwing Blizzard. Lots of Blackwing stuff. Amazonist Blowpiper, Amazonist Archers from Magista Force. Kalut for Simo and Nim Nim. Malicious, I might might be worth something and pull that out. Magical Arm Shield, Nova Summoner, uh, Chainmaster, and Bore the Spear. Okay, officially getting into those really old school packs, the Shining Darkness First Edition. Let's see if we can get something. Shining Darkness, can you bless us with a Ghost Rare? I've never pulled this one. I do have it near mint though. Ronin Toten, actually a good card. Still not a dollar though, I don't think. Ghibli, Dragon Laser, The Spore, Leeching the Light, Second Booster. Oh, a secret, let's go! Infernity Destroyer, then we got the Searcher and the Power Break. Infernity Destroyer Secret Rare. I don't know if it's value or not, but Secret Rare is a Secret Rare, baby. We're taking that out of an older pack, pretty much. I think it's 2010 we're at at this point. Secret Rare Infernity Destroyer. I'm loving it. Value's looking a little better recently. Still lost a lot, but I think we're doing better than the Magician's Force Booster Box at this point, right? Yeah, but it's hard to do worse than that, but <laughs> okay. Kaiba, this could be cool. If we could pull like a Pot of Greed, Chaos Emerald Dragon, something like that out of these first edition pack, that'd be pretty nice. I'd be down for that. Ultimate Rare. Unfortunately, Yugi did not get the same treatment with the ulties, but let's go. We have a, uh, a cloning. The Judge Man classic. We got Lord of D. Familiar Knight. We have the strategy card number three with the Pyramid's Hurdle and the Vampire Lord telling you to basically uh, summon it with the Pyramid's Hurdle. It's a good strategy back in the day. And Kaiser Lad. I was really hoping for like a pot of greed. That would have been so cool. Okay, let's just keep going. Absolute Power Force. Come on. No Ghost Rare besides the guaranteed one. So if we could pull one more, I think this would be a real success. We have a Reptilian Naga. Pandaborg, Gravekeeper Stele, a pocket quill. We got the machine assembly line, Psychers, Cards of Consonants. Okay, these are popping up in like the fifth from the back. This is actually pretty valuable because Blue Eyes decks, you know, everything's valuable in a Blue Eyes deck. And I don't think it's really had too many reprints. Probably a few bucks there. Okay, that's a pretty good pull and not even guaranteed. So really nice. Then you say two here. You say two. It just seems, I don't know, it just sounds weird. You say two. We got Release Restraint Wave, Miracle Locust, Road Synchron, Zero Gardener. Zero that's X-Files music right there. But -da 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 -da. what is going on? Boo, ba, boo, ba, ba, ba. That's weird. Turbo Pack Booster 2. Come on, continue your streak of not hating us. Okay, I think no spoilers like this. Wait, might be at the front. I, it hasn't usually been. Let's go. Iron Core, the Quacky Mirror. Tottenham's Action Unit. Here we go. 
Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, actually a decent card, but uh, nothing too crazy there, not a foil, but that's okay, because now we are into the big stuff. We have Stardust Overdrive First Edition, one of those four sets that was not available in booster boxes in First Edition, only in tins and in pre-release packs, so pretty rare set. Let's see if we can pull a ghost here. All right, Insect Neglect, Bending Destiny, Molting Escape, Time Passage, Infernity Necromancer, Enlightenment, Reptilian Spawn, Quagimero Sea Panther, and the Negaton Core Panel? Negaton, what? I don't know what that is. All right, that's weird. Now we are finally through Hidden Arsenal. Probably my least favorite series in all the Yu-Gi-Oh packs, but oh, we're gonna end it with the coolest card in all of them. Brianak, Dragon of the Ice Beard. That's what you do. You trash on the pack. You say it sucks. And then you pull your absolute favorite card out of it. That is beautiful. I love when that happens. Um, sorry about trashing your pack though. Now we're on to another one that was uh, only available in tins and the pre-release packs. Ancient Prophecy. Can we pull the Ancient Fairy Dragon worth several hundred dollars in Ghost Rare? So very high potential in terms of value. Let's see what we can do. We have the Battle Teleportation, White Potent, Aegis of the Ocean Dragon Lord, Fishborg Blaster, Morphtronic Magden Bar, Depth Amulet, Advanced Draw, and ooh, a Minefield Driller. I feel like I pulled this a lot. That's a super rare. We will take that because it's not guaranteed. Super rare. Very beautiful. We are. We're not unhappy with that, I'll say that. We're getting down toward the end, but there's still a long way to go, and we're over two hours of recording at this point, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this long opening. Hopefully, the cameras will stay up and we will not have any issues like last time. Probably jinxing it, knock on wood, everyone, if you're watching right now, because you still don't know yet, probably, if it's messed up. Turbo Pack, Booster 1. Judgment Dragon Ultimate Rare. If we pull that, we are gonna lose it. Let's go. Terraforming, solid card. Book of Moon, another solid card. Here we go, come on, Judgment. Rescue Cat, that's also a pretty good card. I can't complain there. So Terraforming might be a dollar as well. So pretty solid pack for not having a foil. We'll take it. Oh, and here we are on with one of my favorite sets ever. Retro Pack 2. We pulled the Blue Eyes Shining Dragon before many moons ago, many moons, but I'm never tired of pulling that. So let's pull it again. Here we go. Let's just pull something. Any foil would be awesome out of this set. So I think we got to do like, let's just do three to be safe. We should be okay with a nine card pack. Opticlops. Magic Drain, come on, give us the Shining. Reckless Greed, we got the Book of Moon again in back-to-back -back packs. Kaiki the Ghost Destroyer, good reprint. Premature Burial, another great one. Call of the Haunt, it may be coming up soon. Is it up next? Oh, that is it, a Jam Defender, super rare. We got a super out of Retro Pack. And this is one of the coolest ones because Jam Defender is such a classic card from like the anime. Very awesome. We will take that super rare. I bet that has some value too because there's not a lot of prints of Jam Defender. All right, that's pretty sick. I'm actually very happy with that. Uh, Duelist Pack Yugi, not a lot to pull here because they didn't do ultimate rares. I don't know what they were thinking. But uh, maybe we could pull like a cool ultra like a uh, Dark Paladin or something like that. We got a Monster Reborn. Okay, just a regular rare. I think it's right at the front and Yellow Gadget. All right. Yeah, Yugi got kind of screwed over. I don't know why they... I guess they did Yugi first and then later at Kaiba. They're like, hey, we should do Ultimate Rare or something like that. We're still like in 2009 though. So we still have like seven years. So we're, we're still going. Raging Battle. Come on, Power Tool. We have a Master Gig. All right. The Attack of the Cornered Rat. We're trying to repair unit. Auton <laughs> Automatic Laser. What am I reading? Wonder Clover. Tuner Capture. Miracle Locust, Snowman Eater, actually decent for like Edison, and the Junk Box. Sorry, just a Junk Box, nothing too crazy there. Gold Series 2009. Now, when people say they like old gold, this is usually what they're talking about. This and 2008 were the absolute best, so prepare to see some nice looking cards. Let's see. I'm hoping they don't disappoint because I haven't seen these in a while. Ooh, Volcanic Rock. Look at those, man. They just shine so nicely. Volcanic Rocket. Hopefully we can get something good. Gold Sark, very beautiful card. All right, what's the last one? I think it's the last one. Oh, a Dark Arm Dragon. That's so sick, man. I don't think it's crazy value or anything, but I'm sleeping this up just because it looks really, really cool. The Dark Arm Dragon, baby. Gold Sark, just classic old school cards. It's like a John Moore pack right there. And then our commons are, let's see, Giant and Trunade. Look, some really good stuff. Mobius, all right. Very solid. Zaborg and Grandmark? What in the world? It's a Super Monarch pack. That's really awesome. So if I want to make a Monarch deck, maybe I should pull that Treeborn out. Festalos is in there too. Get Grandmark and that, which you probably won't use all of these, but it's kind of cool to have all those in one pack. I'm gonna just gonna take those out just in case. You never know. All right. Crimson Crisis. We are over two hours of recording. Let's keep it up. Let's get a ghost right here, guys. One, two. What is up with these cards? Look at these. What is up with this? These are like really look different. I don't know. Let's just check this out. Let's see what it is. Morphtronic Singen, 
uh, Force Field, Verdant Sanctuary, Assault Overload, Assault Counter, Seed Cannon, Morphtronic Mix-Up. We got the Assault Armor. Whoa, look at that name. It's kind of shifted. I did a Secret Rare? What? What? And look at all this crap on the back. Is this what in the world? I was like, I was thinking this maybe was resealed. It's weird because like when you, you're never really sure if something's resealed because like the printing is so insane. Like they'll just throw in a like damage, like not really damage, but like scuffed up secret rare. It looks completely different than the other cards. I mean, that just happens sometimes with old packs. It's so hard to know. It's just, yeah, that's why when opening old packs, it can be really be a crapshoot sometimes, but I'm taking a, oh, let's just check this card out a little bit more. Colossal Fighter Assault Mode. Definitely not in near mint condition, but we're going to take that, even though it's not great, but pretty awesome. All right, we've seen a lot of weird stuff in this video. That was that was weird. I was like, what is happening? We got Yusei 1 here. So the first Yusei pack, what will we pull? It's probably right after this. Junk Synchron? Healing Wave? Oh, I thought that was something. Nitro Warrior, Equip Shot, and Fighting Spirit. Okay, no, it wasn't something. We're on a Champion Pack 8. This could have the Lumino, which is like, I think... 500 bucks something like that we did pull this one time for Kaz, i believe when he sent us a bunch of packs so i think the front might be a spoiler in champion pack i'm not gonna even risk it really beautiful looking blue colored pack though here let's try and do that okay it might be at the front so we're gonna do this just in case it's only three cards anyway so beckoning light pretty nice neo spatial dark panther it was the spoiler maybe and okay it's just a rare so nothing too crazy in that one unfortunately but still i mean champion pack's really awesome all right, here's a really cool one. Shonen Jump Anniversary Pack. Always the same cards, but these are really, really cool alternate artworks. Uh, 2008 release, which is actually pretty old at this point. So we're just gonna go through and we have the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Last time I opened one of these, it was a little like bent and I even got it out of like the box and it was like that, which was unfortunate. So we got the Red Eyes, just really awesome cards. Summon Skull, Celtic. I might look and see if I can grade any of these. They look a little bit off-centered, so maybe not. Uh, the Megami, the Buster Blader, Genzo, and Shiba Warrior, which is actually, I think, Kazuki Takahashi's dog based off that. And, you know, he recently passed away, so pretty cool to see that. Wow, that's some really nice cards. I'm going to sleeve all these up real quick. Next up is the Dark Legends, which is basically our retro pack, but we didn't get secrets for some reason. I don't know why, but it's still a really cool set. There's a lot of really cool old school cards in here. So let's just see what we can get. I think it's a pretty big pack, right? Like 12 cards. Yeah, let's try a little... Uh, one, two, three, four. These are upside down. Wait, I wonder if that, this could be the foil too. Let's just do this. There we go. We got the, uh, the Karibu. Hain Hain or Hane Hane, whatever you want to say. The Gazelle. We got the Lord of D upside down randomly. The Luminous Spark. UFO Turtle. Gravekeeper Servant. Black Pendant. Mystic Somato. Oh, a scapegoat super! Chain Master with the Gaia. Whoa, I've never pulled this. This is actually really cool. It's like the same rarity as like Starter Deck Joey or whatever, so it's like doesn't really stand out that well, but it's just cool to have like a unique super rare scapegoat. It also has a big print line in it, but that's pretty sick. I've never pulled that one before. I'm very happy with that. We seem to have been picking up a little bit on the pulls, and you know what? You know how we could really pick up the pulls? Ghost Rare, Black Rose Dragon. Let's do it. First edition. I'm down. That literally just ripped like right down the middle. That was that was weird. Okay, let's see what we can get now. Very flimsy pack. We have plant food chain. We got the poison chain or ultimate rare um, play spreader would be cool. We're trying cell phone, the synchro strike, cursed fig. We got the iron chain blaster, revival gift, miracle fertilizer. It's up next. Oh, we got a super. It's a knight and sorcerer. All right. A super out of this pack is not bad because this is also one that was not released in Booster Box First Edition. So any foils out of these is usually pretty nice. Woo, 2008, guys. We are all the way back there. Duelist Genesis. I'd take Stardust. I'd be down for that. Ghost Rare, Ultimate Rare, even Ultra Rare. I'd be really happy. That would be really, really cool. So let's see if we can do it. Never pulled a First Edition uh, Stardust at all. I don't think. Whoa, what was going on with that? We got some stuff on there. One, two, three, four. Oh, no. We spoiled it. We had a super. It was four. Oh, no. Maiden of Macabre. Whatever you call it. Unstable. We pulled a foil out of here, too. Unstable Evolution. Wow. We're on a foil train right now. That's pretty good. We got the uh, Ghost Guard now. Let's see what else. We got to be careful. Those pack tricks ruining the pack. We're going to do three from now on, I think, to be safe. Champion Pack 7. What's in here? What's in Champion Pack 7? I think this is sort of a dud in terms of Champion Packs. It's not great. I don't think there's too many crazy ones or whatever, but could be wrong about that let's see i think last time it was actually at the front so let's do this we have a fusel or dragon the dual mud beast counter counter and the fairy king truesdale all right fairy king truesdale nothing nothing crazy on that one here's another one i almost accidentally bought again i didn't think i had pre the premium packs and i did so i was like oh no premium pack but no big deal it's just premium pack it's not really that big of a deal either way we have valhalla the fallen right at the front okay oh they're all secrets athena 
No, they're not all secrets. Two of them are secrets. This is the one where it's like some people say some of them are errors and I'm not like some of them are not. I, I It's very confusing, but premium pack two for you, ladies and gentlemen. All right, here's a really cool one. Retro pack. I actually got this as a graded card when I got it and I had to crack it. And if you guys can see right here, I actually pinched myself with the uh, the pliers or whatever I was using to uh, open it up. These things are like tanks. The, the pack ones, they're like this thick. It's insane. There's a lot of effort to get that out. I've only ever pulled a foil out of this pack once and it was a Kaiba Man secret rare and our 100k special. So maybe now that's 150k special we'll do it again let's see i'm down to pull blue eyes you know something like that that's only like a, i think an ultra or something in this set this is opening really weird <laughs> what in the world is this all right we got it out somehow all right we have uh, a lot of cards i'm just gonna do three for now on to be safe if i don't know which is that's probably good toon mermaid i don't think there's any extra cards it's nine cards right gazelle the king of mythical beasts mst for probably the 12th time in this opening baby dragon we got the Thunder Dragon. I bet that's actually like $6. I think we pulled this last time and it was pretty expensive because it's from Retro Pack. Very nice. Mother Grizzly, the Twin Headed Thunder Dragon. Will there be a foil in this pack? Card Destruction, just a rare and a Sonic Bird. All right, all right. We tried out a Retro Pack. We did what we could. All right, we are officially in the GX era. Light of Destruction, first edition. This is, I mean, Judgment Dragon, Honest. If we get an Honest Ghost, I would cry. That would be so cool. One of my favorite looking Ghost Rares. These old school GX Ghosts are some of the best looking, for sure. Let's see if we can pull anything. This is gonna be tough, because like these are really rare packs, and like, you know, finding an unscaled one of these would be crazy. I don't know if we did or not, so we will see. We have a D Fortune. Battery Man Charger. And we won't really know unless we pull something. The Chariot. Realm of Light. Goblin Requan Squad. Requan. Recon. Mystical Cards. We got the Limit Reverse. Could be the next card. Lumina the Lightsworn Summoner. Pretty cool card. And a Wetlands. We will take Lumina. Very, very iconic, classic card. Now let's go to Champion Pack Game 6. I think there's a decent card in, in 6. I can't really remember. I don't think there's a huge one, but I think there was something decent. Oh, we got it. We got to be careful. It's a trap card, whatever it is. No, no complete spoilers. Just mini spoilers. We have a Dimension Wall. That's a trap card. Soul Purity and Light. And the call of darkness i do kind of remember this card because i remember last time i saw it i was like i've never seen this card before here's a big one gold series we're actually gonna be opening up an entire mini box of this soon so there's gonna be five different packs that's gonna be a fun video but here we have one pack inside you could pull the crush card where it was first released besides shonen jump which that was a crazy priced one this one was like 300 bucks i think so pretty expensive card let's see if we can pull it all right so they don't start with the gold race here which is nice we have needle worm which is probably worth something in common royal command Solar Flare Dragon. We have the Fire Princess. A bunch of old school stuff. Miss Body, the Old Vindictive Magician. Seven colored fish, including those lips. We got the non spellcasting area. New Doria. Spellcaster Shield Type 8. We got the Silva World of Dark World. Swarm of Scarabs. Skill Drain. Whoa, that's probably money right there. I didn't remember that was in there. We'll take that. Nightmare Penguin. Aikla Scorpion. Give us, give us the Crush Card. It's like one in 10 box, like cases or something ridiculous. Needle Ceiling, Regenerating Mummy, Summoner of Illusions, Pandemonium Classic, got the Stealth Bird, Sonic Bird, Offerings to the Doomed. Oh, Prometheus, look how off-centered this thing is. Holy off-center, what's up next? Chimera Tech Over Dragon, that's beautiful. And Don Zalug, this is actually sick, being this off-centered, being a gold Don Zalug. I'm kind of digging this. This is actually a sick pull. Okay, pretty cool gold series pack. That's a very expensive pack, though. We definitely didn't make our money back on that one. All right, Phantom Darkness first edition. What you got, Phantom Darkness? Do you have the Dark Arm Dragon for us? Come on, do it, do it. Oh my gosh, this is opening weird. All right, give us the dad. Let's go. We have Neospatian Twinkle Moss. Gladiator Beast Darius might actually be worth something in common. Chain Summoning. The Rainbow Veil, Sam Sarah Lotus, Alchemy Style, Armored Cyburn, is it next? Fires of Doomsday and the Dark Crusader. I feel like that used to be like a foil, but I don't think it was actually now that I think about it. Now we take a little break of epicness with uh, JD Nuki 3. Nothing too crazy here. Also, they wrapped this pack really weird. Look, it's like the front is on the back. So part of the front, at least. I don't know. There's a couple of these Jaden packs that have some decent like ultra, like an ultra, but I don't remember what they are. Let's see. Dark Gaia? Dark Calling actually was worth a little bit for a while. It got a big reprint though, so probably didn't hold much value, but because of the uh, Immortal Destiny or whatever it's called, it got some value. Jesse Anderson. I don't know if Jesse Anderson has anything, to be honest. Problem with these duels packs is there's only like two foils in the whole thing. We got Cobalt Eagle, Gravity Crush, Crystal Pear, Blessing, and Magnus Slash Dragon. So yeah, just a bunch of commons usually. All right, now we have a Shonen Jump 
limited edition one i think there was more of these but i think this is just like a single card maybe i don't know what this is actually yeah we're just gonna open it i don't know what's in here we have a oh it's the like the promos the jump promos okay cloning there's definitely more of these relieve monster this was a retro pack one secret rare copycat another retro pack one secret rare, and so was this so i think some of the one of these maybe it's copycat or blast sphere i think it's copycat it was like 20 or 30 dollars i think so like that's pretty much you know a lot of value right there okay champion pack five come on bless us with something cool five has a lot of good options there's a lot of good foils potentially in here i think we gotta do this okay nice works out perfectly let's put that at the back we have a rescue cat very nice common oh it's pulling the rug dang it spirit barrier pulling the rug is also a good card for like edison format so not too bad there we will take that if we're not going to get a foil now we have our dark revelation volume one we opened one of these on the extra pack because we had to get a uh, two pack of this to get the one pack so we opened one already we didn't pull anything i just threw the pack so that means there's definitely something good in here right secret rare huh some big secret rares in this set so i'm down to pull one we have never pulled a huge pull out of here we've had a couple of decent pulls, but I don't think we've pulled like a massive one. I think there's a lot of cards in here. Let's just do like four. Spiritual Water, all right, AOA, Chthonian Alliance, Phantasmal Martyrs, Photon Generator Unit, Guard Dog, DD Guy, that used to be worse than that, so, uh, Shadow of Infinity, Death Frog, Soitsu, Cyber Kieran. can we get the DDS Halon? That's what I want to pull one day. Avalanching Asa. Dimension Wall. All right, and a rollout, just a Dimension Wall, unfortunately. Not a bad card, really, actually, but uh, not very valuable, I don't think. Gladiator's Assault's up next. Still never pulled a Ghoster out of here. There's also the Misprint um, Rainbow Dragon Ghoster in here as well, the Fusion version. So I would love to pull that at some point. Let's just try and pull some Magic Formula, of course. We've never pulled that. Gladiator's Return, if we pull, I mean, if we pull that, we're gonna lose it. Stealth Roid. Natural Disaster, just big stuff potentially in here. We got a Contact out. I think that used to be a dollar. We'll pull it out just in case. Infinity Dark, Swiss Strike Armor. Chamberlain of the Six Samurai. Cloudian Zero Stratus and a Turbulence. Okay, yeah. Just rares, no big deal. Now we're on to the original premium pack. This one is, uh, what is there in here? Like, uh, I guess he is in there. The uh, Sorcerer of Dark Magic, the Mission of Black Chaos. That's what he's called. Uh, we have the, ooh, Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon. There's also a secret version of this. Metal Morph. Legacy of Yadagarasu. Ooh, and the Gemini Imps, and I think it's two secrets, and a Shield Crush. Okay, those are probably not the ones you want, but Red Eyes Black Dragon is pretty cool. I don't necessarily love the artwork on this one, though, to be honest, in my opinion. Champion pack four, the one who has cursed us and never pulled the bottomless, so maybe today will be the time. Let's pull the bottomless. Okay, this one is opening very weird. We're gonna try and open it like this, maybe? Uh, this thing is destroyed. Look at this. That is a sketchy seal, but sometimes this happens on these uh, some of these champion packs, but uh, definitely could be a sketchy seal potentially, but you don't really know just how it goes. We have a Treeborn Frog. Free, no, come on, and a Robin Goblin. I wanted it to be at the back. <laughs> On to the next one, Tactical Evolution, first edition. We have pulled Rainbow Dragon before. I I'm down, I'm down to do it again though. I really am, I, I don't care if we do it again. I'm not gonna be mad if we pull another Ghost Rare. Any foil would be cool. We have a one, two, three, let's do three. We better keep it safe. Cocoon Veil, Crystal's Pantail, Venom Shot, Hero Counter Attack with the Venom Snake, Venom Swamp, Chrysalis Chicky, Damage Reptile and a Chrysalis Mole. So just the Damage Reptile from over the hedge, unfortunately. Now I force the Breaker, which if we opened the other pack I had, it would have been the cover card. We opened it the other day, if you guys missed that. Wish we'd still had to open that one in this one because we'd have the cover card. That'd been a really cool pull. Maybe both Force of the Breaker packs were blessed though. Let's see. Maybe we can pull a Ryza. Maybe we can pull a Seeker Rare, uh, Ultimate Rare. There's a lot of good stuff in here, potentially. We got the uh, Crystal Beast Amethyst Cat. Backs to the Wall. A Cell Breeding Device. Magna Slash Dragon. Blaze Accelerator, Mass Hypnosis, Mikau, Master of Barriers, and a Triggered Summon. So we traded it for a Light Pack. No, we should have gone with the other one. On to Champion Pack 3, another big one with like Spirit Reaper and Gravekeeper Spy and stuff like that. So some really nice ones. Let's see if we can get it. We have, uh oh, it's at the front. Okay, it was a, uh, it looks like a monster, effect monster, which is a good sign if it's gonna be something good. Cause those are both that I listed, you know, effect monsters. Wild Nature's Release. Great Keeper's Chief, come on, give us something good. Oh, man, Decor of Darkness. Why do you troll us like this, man? Man, Decor of Darkness. Okay, that was bad. Zane Truesdale, actually a pretty rare pack. This one was a little bit difficult to find the first time as well. What shall we pull? Zane Truesdale, we have Limiter Removal, Future Fusion, 
Ruthless Denial. All right, that's a super. We got a Proto Cyber Dragon. There's a lot more cards in there than I thought. I don't think I've ever seen this card before, so very nice super. It's been a while. It's been since Dark Legend since we pulled uh, something decent, so we'll take that. Strike of Neos. If there's ever a time to pull Air Neos, it's now. Let's go. Or Grandmaster. I would take that as well. Let's go. Six Samurai Iru. A Cell Scatterburst. Puppet Plant. Electric Virus. Destruction Cyclone. Flashbang. Lycanthrope. Skyscraper to Hero City. Dude, this is the one we pull so much. The Hero City, but it's a foil. A foil's a foil. We cannot complain about that. A couple supers. All right, let's just keep going. I can't be, I can't be mad if we pull a foil. Then we have Astro Phoenix. I don't know if there's anything to pull in this, but we're gonna see. Give us something we didn't know was in here. Guard penalty, D shield. Fearmonger. Okay, I probably knew that was in there. And then the D time. All right, D time added again. Jade Yuki too, because for some reason there's like a million Jade Yuki packs. Yugi and Kaiba only got one for some reason. I don't know why. Yuki and uh, Yusei for some reason. They really like Wild Heart, Fake Hero, Flare Neos, Crystal's Dolphin, and O Oversoul. Okay, so really exciting pack there. Like really needed a second and a third one of those. Now it's time for champion pack game two. Let's see what we can get. I don't know. Okay, wait, 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 wait. No spoilers, no spoilers. Spin it around like this. We got three potential cards in here. We have a Stray Lambs, nice. Big Bang Shot. Ring of Destruction, actually a pretty sick card. So we'll take that sick card. I, I mean, it's been reprinted a lot, but still a really, really cool one. All right, McDonald's pack two time, which doesn't have any foils, unfortunately. So it kind of ruins the effect, you know, having a foil potential. So we'll just see what we get. You know, this it's classic. I never actually went when they had GX packs though. Legend, cool, Zone Eater, and Amphibious Bugroth. Amphibious Bugroth, just the regular one? I didn't realize he was here. Ground Attacker Bugroth and Sentinel of the Sea. Interesting, interesting one there. Now we have Dark Revelation three. So inside this one is, this is like Rise of Destiny and stuff, right? One, two, three, four, let's do that. I don't know, there's 12 cards in here. Oh wait, this is the weird one. I don't think you can do a pack trick. I don't know, we'll find out. So it's not a magic card. We know that in terms of the foil, right? Goblin Calligrapher, Death Wombat, Fox Fire, Unshaven Angler, Enrage Mooka Mooka. Big Tusk Mammoth. Oh, come on, man. Tusk Mammoth. Okay, that's fine. Actually, the first time we did this, I pulled an ulti Big Tusk Mammoth out of Flaming Eternity, I think. Pretty cool. Cyberdark Impact. Let's pull Vanity Fiend, Vanity's Ruler, Cyberdark Dragon, something really cool. Let's see. I think we can do three. We got the Linear, the Abaki, Chain Detonation, Straight Flush, Stray Asmodian, the Instant Fusion, Man Beast of Ares. Oh, and an Ultimate Ray! I said, how about an ultimate rare? Degenerate circuit. So this is a retail ulti, so not a crazy one, but check out that beautiful foiling. It is a very nice looking one. Degenerate circuit. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Another ulti. You love to see it in the opening. Even if it's not an amazing one, it's still awesome to see. We are now at champion pack one. One of the rarest champion pack packs. We have my body as a shield. Emissary of the Afterlife and Limiter Removal as a regular rare. Okay, not too crazy out of that one. We are dead in GX now though. We have Power of the Duelist. Whew, can we pull something big? Let's go. Power of the Duelist Ultimate Rare. Can we get a Dark Neos? Can we get a Flare Neos? Can we get a Chimera Tech Over Dragon? I'm down for it. We have Destiny Hero Defender, Blade Master, Common Soul, Rescue Roid, Fear Monger, Viacoid Connection Zone. Fossil Excavation, an Alien Warrior. No, not the Alien Warrior. Just a regular rare. That's okay. We're saving it for the end, right? We're saving it for the end for the Dual Monsters packs. Enemy of Justice. Enemy of Justice, you want to redeem yourself for all the trials and tribulations of 2019? You can do it. Celestial Transformation, Shattered Axe. E Emergency Call. E Destiny Hero. We are still recording. I've been double checking for a lot, right? <laughs> Just a second ago. Elemental Recharge, Liar the Liberator, Blazing Hita. D time, it's D time. D time for the T time. All right, very nice. We got E emergency call. All right, just a rare. We are officially on to tournament pack eight, the tournament pack era. In here you can pull, I believe Harvey's Feather Duster is a super rare. Dunamis Dark Witch, you know, there's some really good stuff. Let's do that. If we get a Feather Duster, oh my gosh. Necrolancer the Time Lord, you love to see this. Straight up old school Necrolancer. Violet Rain or Violent Rain, I should say, and Garma Sword of not even a rare back then. Classic Garma Sword is also another one. I just love those tournament pack cards. They're so nice. Shadow of Infinity, first edition. Sacred Beast. This could be the first time. We have still never pulled a Sacred Beast. And there are three out of the four of the Ultras. So let's do it. That looks like it might be the foil back there. If it is a foil, Death Frog, Silent Inside Guy. I hope it is. Next to be lost. Neo Bubble Man. End of the world will be the end of the world. If we pulled an ulti. 
Sacred Beast, Tinker Beetle Sheen, basically a wild heart, but worse. Machine King Prototype, Super Junior Confrontation, and Ruin Queen of Oblivion. All right, you ruined our chances for Sacred Beast, but we will take it, Ruin. One of the coolest supers in the set, so we're not complaining there. We got a Chaz Princeton. Can we pull some Ojama stuff? Some Ojamas. Ojama, get him. Let's go. Z Metal Tank, X Head. VW, Arm Dragon, and Shithoni. So everything but Ojamas, basically. <laughs> All right. Jaden Yuki, number one. He has opened mini packs. He has had mini packs. Now, will he actually have something good? That is the question. I don't think it was in one that it was good, but we'll see. Avian, Rottweiler, Training Shield. Bubble Blaster. We got a super rare. Woo! Bubble Blaster, baby. Blasting those bubbles. We will take it. Very nice super rare. All right. We're getting a lot of supers in this opening. All right. Big one. Elemental energy. Potentially awesome. Amazing hero cards in here. Let's see what we can get. I want to pull something big. One, two, three. I think we can do four again. Now that's uh, GX. Eats Wild Cyber. The Dark World Lightning. Simultaneous Loss. Jetonian Palmer. Oja Muscle. Familiar Possessed Win. The Forces of Darkness. Elemental Hero Wild Heart. And a Brawn Mad King of Dark World. He's mad because we did not pull a foil there. Tournament Pack 7. Come on, Tournament Pack 7. It's your job to pull something good. We get, what is it, DD Warrior? I don't think this one's too crazy. There's like a Warrior Elimination, stuff like that. What will it be? Wall of Illusion. Dig Beak. Yeah, a Dig Beak. All right, very nice. And we have... Skill Dark Magician. So not even rares. Come on. Come on, tournament pack. Give us some luck here. Dark Revelation 2 time. This could have Black Cluster Soldier. It could have all the Chaos stuff inside. Chaos Ember Dragon. The, uh, what is his name? The Chaos Magician. The Magician of Black Chaos. Uh, the Chaos. What is he called? Dark Magician of Chaos. There we go. It's like all the same name, but mixed up. Tip card. Blazing Apache. Let's go. Coach Goblin. Emissary of the Oasis. Sasuke Samurai number three. Soul Tigre. Oh, and a Legacy Hunter. Cool. We got a foil. Let's sleeve this up real quick. Legacy Hunter win. We are super rare kings right now. We are super rare central. Self-destruct, order to charge, and ultra evolution pill. Okay. All right. We are super rare kings. Now we have... I feel like this is in the wrong place, isn't it? No, maybe it's not. I guess it's not. All right, Forbidden Legacy. This is a Pop-Tart pack from Forbidden Legacy. Yeah, I was thinking 2004. It might be 2005. We get Blue Eyes, Karibo, or Dark Magician. Hopefully Blue Eyes. Let's go. Let's try not to spoil it by doing this. Try not to bend the card, too, by doing this. I think we're okay. Okay, it's hopefully not bent. Doesn't seem to be too bent. A little warped. Let's see. Oh, a Dark Magician. We'll take that. We'll take that. Definitely better than the Karibo, I would say. Karibo looks nice, but we will take the Dark Magician Secret Rare. Very beautiful. Very awesome. Not technically a pack, but I figured we'd throw it in there because we had one anyway. And now we have a Cybernetic Revolution pack. This came from a blister. So, you know, it's probably a retail pack, I think, but that means it's not weighed. So we could get like a Cyber End Dragon. So, you know, Cyber Dragon. Let's see what we can get. One, two, three, four. Let's go. We have a Jetroid. Come on, CRV. Let's go. Tadpole. Jetroid again. What in the world? Okay, that's that's weird. Battery Man C. Mad Lobster. He's a lobster. And he's mad. All right. Nice combo. The Tyro and Tyro Infinity Tyrano. Spiritual Fire Art Curve 9. Arrival appears. And we have a dark catapulter. No, just a dark catapulter. Regular rare. On to Dark Beginning 2. We're getting close to the end, guys. So if you guys have enjoyed this, I hope you have. Very long video. Like, I am almost at three hours of recording. So I don't know what's going to end up at total. But if you've enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Because we're going to be doing more crazy stuff like this in the future. And hopefully we're going to end on something big like last time. Here we go. Total Defense Shogun. Toon Gemini Elf. Toon Mass Sorcerer. Cave Dragon. Frontier Wiseman. Swarm of Locusts. Dark Dust Spirit, it should be coming up soon. Blast with Chain, no, we've seen that a lot today. Emperor's Holiday Array, Call of the Mummy, and Dark Piercing Light, okay. Tournament Pack 6, what's Tournament Pack 6 again? Uh, there's Royal Decree Super, what is it? Is this the, yeah, to oh, Toon Cannon Soldier. Yeah, Toon Cannon Soldier, potentially ultra rare. Table of Contents as well is a super rare. I actually have a PSA 10 of that one. Let's see, let's see if we can uh, not spoil and get a foil. Let's go, come on. Emergency Provisions. Nekagal number one, and we have a Thunder Diane Nyan. More commons. Come on, tournament pack. TLM, the Lost Millennium. This is base, not really the first GX set, but it kind of is. Depends on if you count those middle sets as GX. So this is kind of the beginning of GX. Maybe we can pull something big. Can we get the Ancient Gear Golem? We have the Medusa Worm, Lone Wolf. Let's get a big ulti. Guardian Statue, Monk Fighter. Area of the Water Charmer, nice. Elemental Hero Burst and Tricks. If this was an ulti, that'd be amazing. Minefield Eruption. 
Death Wombat, I think it's the next one. And, oh, another ulti. Mid Shield Gardener, let's go, dude. Check it out, Mid Shield Gardener. Not the big Shield Gardener, he's a Mid Shield. He's got 1800 defense instead of 26 or whatever. Where's the small Shield Gardener? That's what I wanna know. Why does he get no love? Is he the youngest brother or something? That's still a sick pull though. We are taking an ulti all day, every day. I don't care if it's retail or not. All right, very solid. Dark Revelation one, we dropped the pack. Can we get something cool out of here? Like Exodia Necros. I wish they had put Dark Magician Girl in here. It would make the set a lot more exciting to potentially open, but we'll just roll with what we got. Let's see. Great Maju Garzen, Burning Beast, Despair from the Dark, Sonic Duck, Sukiyomi. That's probably a few bucks. Oh, it rocks a special, but it's a skill drain. The Dark Crisis card's coming in clutch. That's big because those are probably both worth quite a bit. Then we've got a Secret Barrel, which is nice. Spell Absorbing Light. Token Thanksgiving and Banner of Courage. Wow. Okay. Pretty good for no foil. We're taking that. We're getting close to the end, guys. We're like in 2004 or five, like very beginning of 2005 or no, we're not. I think we're in 2004 now. Flaming Eternity. We are right before the OG series. This is insane. Or right after, I should say. Can we pull a big ulti out of here? Let's go. Kangaroo Champ. Pole position. Crazy card. Yay. Earth Sex. <laughs> Earth Hex Seal Fusion, okay. Uh, Ragnarok, we got the Refusion. Rescue Cat, big common, okay, we'll take that. Uh, Good Goblin Housekeeping, the Hex Sealed Fusion, and Spell Absorption, nothing too crazy there, just a rare, but Rescue Cat's good. We are getting down to what you guys have all been waiting for, the big final packs we have, Rise of Destiny. Give us a Creator Ulti, let's go. One, two, three, four, can we get something amazing? Woodberg and Patchy, Mogi Mogi King. Woodberg and Patchy. Again, what's up with all the doubles, man? The double commons over and over. There it is. That's so weird. Creator Incarnate. Harvey Lady 2. The Creeping Dune Manta. Back to square one. Mirage Dragon. And will it be an ulti? A flint. Okay, we just got flint. No big deal. Nothing too crazy. But we're coming up on the packs that could be too crazy. Here's tournament pack five. Probably the worst of the first eight tournament packs. So we don't have to really worry about getting our socks blown off this time. But I'm still taking like a, uh, you know, the, in here is Big Show Garnet. You could pull it. You could pull the uh, Luminous Soldier almost through the cards. Got us with the third eye. Pyramid Turtle is actually really cool. And Destruction Punch. So we have not even hit a rare out of the tournament packs yet in terms of the first eight. Dark beginning one time. We have... Legendary Fisherman, no, I hate how it ruins it like that. Celtic Guardian, Shining Angel, Nuvia. So that wasn't even my fault this time. Chain and Javelin, uh, it's because it just goes to the front of the monsters or the front of the traps or the front of the magic, depending on what it is. So you can't really predict what it's gonna be because you don't know what the card is. Okay, Soul of Duelist, the last non-DM main set pack. Let's get that Horus the Black Flame Dragon. I'm down for that. Level, level up's a good one. Come on, give us something good. Ultimate Baseball Kid, Abyssal Designator, the Trojan Horse, Ritual Weapon, Level up, a good common, very nice. Red Eyes Bee Chick, Taunt, Unshaven Angler. Is it the next one? Arm Dragon level five. All right, just a level five. Cool card. I have pulled that Nulti against Yukimo a very long time ago. Now we have the movie pack, which is pretty cool. The movie pack, I think you can get Blue Eyes Shining in here. Yeah, definitely you can. You're not guaranteed to get it though. So let's see if we can pull it out. I think it's only one card. Maybe it's two. I can't remember. The Shonen Jump, I think it's just one card. And? Wadapon. All right, just the Wadapon, unfortunately. Then we have Exclusive Pack. This is a weird one because it's the same cards every time. So it's basically like a starter deck. This came out around the movie as well with the Sphinx Telia, Andro, and the Thenin. And then you get a bunch of other cards like Return from Different Dimensions, actually really good. And then Rare Metal Dragon. So those aren't super crazy because you get the same thing every time, but they're very classic because everyone had those in their binder. And they think that they're rare when they're like, hey, I have a lot of valuable old cards. Check these out. I'm like, that's very common, unfortunately. Okay, Ancient Sanctuary, the final 11. We also have a few other, it's not just the final 11, but the final 11 main sets. Can we pull something big out of one of these? Last time we pulled Jinzo. Let's see if we can do that again. That would be really, really cool. All right, one, two, three, four. We have the Sand Gambler, cool. Wall of Revealing Light, Rocket Jumper, a Gigabyte, Aswan Apparition, Judgment of the Desert, Absorbing Kid from the Sky, Goblin Thief, and here we go. Soul Resurrection, we're starting off with a rare, but that's okay. We, if, it, if it's gonna be a rare, we want it to be an Ancient Sanctuary, not in like a better one. Like Invasion of Chaos, because this could have a CED, BLS, Dark Magician of Chaos, just amazing cards. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Can we pull a big foil out of here? We have a Terror King, a Salomon, Skullmark Ladybug, a Recycle, just Recycle, a Hero Emerges, Griffin's Feather Duster, Inferno, DNA Transplant, the Sea Serpent, Warrior of Darkness. He has Battle Prowess. And here we go. The Mad Dog of Darkness, just a regular rare. Okay, 
our dreams are been they've been ended for IOC, but there's still packs to go like Dark Crisis First Edition. This is a little bit of a fat pack. No body shaming here, but a little bit of a fat pack for the Dark Crisis. Let's see. Will we get the skill drain again here? Because we have pulled the skill drain already in this video. What can we get? Can we get Exodia Necros? I would love I already have a PSA 10. I've already pulled it before. I'm still down. I want it again. Really eternal rest. Drag down to the grave. Rod of Silence Chaos. The Arsenal Summoner or Vampire Lord would be awesome. Fairy of the Spring. DD Trainer. The Agido. We have a Kelbeck. And we have a blast held by a tribute. That's an ultra. We will take that ultra rare from Dark Crisis. Seems to be in decent condition as well. All right, our first foil from the original 11 sets. All right, I'm loving that. You love to see those old sets actually have foils in them. And now for one that we really hope there's a foil. We really hope there's a secret rare. And then it's a effect monster named Dark Magician Girl. Magician's Force. If there's a Dark Magician Girl in here, we lose it. We lose it right here. One, two, three, four. Let's go. You got to believe. Amazon is Paladin. Zombie Digre. Vampire Orcus. Let's go. The Disarmament. Kiryu. Second Goblin. Formation Union. Is it the next one? Freezing Beast. Is it the next one? Death Koala. All right. Just a rare out of Magician's Force. Death Koala. No Dark Magician Girl. One day we're actually going to pull it first edition. I pulled it unlimited though, so... We're kind of there, you know, not too bad. Turn of the pack four time. Royal Decree potentially is the ultra rare. I do have one of those as well in PSA 10. So, I mean, I'm not going to complain if I pull another one though. So let's see. I, I had three Royal Decree PSA 10s at one point. One from Turn of the pack four and two from Turn of the pack six. It's pretty insane. I just kept grading those. So it was like, okay, we'll take it. Let's go like this. Give us a, give us a foil out of here. Come on. Mad Sword Beast. The Arkansas Razorbacks. And... Giant rat. We still haven't even gotten a rare. I should be asking for a rare, not a foil, to be honest. Like, we just need something. <sighs> Pharaonic Guardian. Come on, Pharaonic Guardian. Let's go. We've pulled pretty well out of Pharaonic Guardian in the past. So let's see if we can continue that here. We have, oh, a living wonder of mystery right off the bat. Arsenal Bug. Royal Tribute. The Dark Coffin. Rite of Spirit. Terraforming. That's a very good print uh, or an original print. Metamorphosis. Formerly the best common in the set, then some like waifu card took it over, but still really good. Servant of Catabolism and Wings Sage Falcos. Okay, the Falcos. All right, Falcos, I see you. We still have a few epic packs left. Let's keep going. Legacy of Darkness. Let's go. Give us a secret. Yada or IFL. I don't know which one this is. It might be Fairy Lily, might be Yada, but I will take either one. Legendary Ocean, Robo Yaru, Fiend Comedian, Wolf Axe Wielder, Ominous Fortune Telling. Mysterious Guard, Stamping Destruction. This Le Legacy of Darkness cards are so thin. I don't know why. Spring of Rebirth and second coin toss. All right, the coin has been tossed a second time, but it wasn't a foil. All right, TP3 could have the Needle Worm. There's a Needle Worm. That is one of the craziest pulls you can possibly get. Never pulled that, of course, in turn of pack three. So come on, give us something good out of here. Let's go. Give us a foil out of TP3. Oh, there it is. Okay, no spoilers, I guess. Let's go like this. We have Dragon Capture Jar. Dark Elf. Come on, be a needle. Axe Raider, actually a pretty sick one. We'll take that. Axe Raider is a pretty good rare. Pretty solid overall for TP3, but unfortunately not the Needle Worm, but maybe one day we'll pull one. Now we have Labyrinth of Nightmare. The Nightmare of the Labyrinth. Can we get another foil out of these OG packs? Come on, that'd be really nice. One, two, three, four. I believe we've got Curse of the Mass Beast. All right, is that a sign? But we pull the Mass Beast. I'm down for that. Gemini Elf as well. Bio Mage. We've got the Aqua Spirit. I also like the other Secret Rare as well. The uh, Magic Cylinder. Spirit Elimination. Gross Ghost of Fled Dreams. Lady of Salem of Flames. Dragonic Attack. Spherous Lady. Is it up next? A Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer. All right. One of the best supers. And for some reason, it really loves us pulling this card because we have pulled a lot of them. It's in minty shape too. So another foil from the original packs. I'm big fan of that. Very nice. This is like the opening of super rares. We've had pulled so many, but now we have McDonald's pack one. We could pull one of my favorite cards, Millennium Shield right there, right over my shoulder. Let's see if we can pull it. Millennium Shield, super rare or ultra rare. I don't know if it's going to be at the front. Let's just open it up. Okay, we got. We can do it a little bit inconspicuously. Nice. Two pat or two cards to go here we have frog the jam legend all right yes a classic and ushioni okay frog the jam is a classic that's a very nice card i think it's actually worth like a decent amount which is hilarious now we're on to pharaoh's servant first edition last time you guys know what happened the jinzo come on jinzo this is your time to shine baby this is your time to shine pop up again is it four i think it's four we have the drill bug dark fire soldier number one four star ladybug of doom metal detector harpy's brother 
Reign of Mercy. Type zero magic crusher. Bombardment beetle. Here we go. Can we get a foil? Appropriate, didn't they? Yeah, this had a super earlier in the opening. I was like, Pharaoh Servant. It's not, it's not, a, it's not a common. It's a rare. I thought it was a common, but still, that's a pretty nice, uh, a pretty cool pack. I wouldn't say it's nice, but it's cool. We're down to the last few. We have tournament packs these do. It seems like we are still recording, which is good. This could have the Morphine Jar. It could have the Jinzo Jar even, which would be insane, which is Morphine Jar with the Jinzo printed into it, which would be absolutely nuts if we got that. We have no spoilers this way. Okay. Can we get the Morphine Jar? Let's go. We got the Queen of Bottom Leaves. These TP2 cards are very valuable. Like even like this, I think is worth a Lot. Water Magician and Parrot Dragon. This used to be a big one, but it got a reprint in like Legendary Collection Kaiba, I think. Kind of killed the value, but it's still worth a little bit. So nowhere even there, unfortunately, but we're doing what we can. Now we're on to a pretty unique one, the Spell Ruler First Edition, which has been said to be like the rarest pack ever and all this stuff, which sealed it is very, very rare. The cards inside are actually not worth that much because they're just the same as other Magic Ruler European cards. So if you have one of these, keep it sealed. Yeah, do yourself a favor, but we're gonna be opening it up for the every pack opening because people wanna see it. So let's see what it looks like inside. This this is a European pack. Cool part about this is you can get like Pot of Greed in here because the European set actually had some of the cards from LOB in their Magic Ruler set or the Spell Ruler technically set for some reason. They didn't have all the same cards in LOB. They had a few that they waited until Magic Ruler to print. So we might see some of those. I think Pot of Greed would be the coolest one we could pull. Flame Swordsman's also in here as a common or something like that. So let's just see what we can get. We have a Power of Kaishin, Kotodama, Fusionist, M Warrior number two, Ancient One of the Deep Forest. Very cool. Gravekeeper's Servant. Isn't that a fair Servant card? I think it is. Twin Long Rod. No, wait, no, it's not. No, it's not. Twin Long Rods. Electric Snake. And we have Rush Recklessly. The Arkansas Razorbacks. I thought we might have gotten the Pot of Greed for a second, but we didn't. Still really cool to see that Spell Ruler First Edition open, though. Definitely lost a lot on that one, though. We are down to the last six packs of the opening. Still have Legend of Blue Eyes to go. Here is First Edition Magic Ruler. Can we end it off in the Magic Ruler? with an amazing pull. Let's go. We've had some pretty awesome pulls in this video today. It would be great to top it off with a huge old school pull. I'm down for it. We have a Ryu Ran, the Rival Guardian, Spear Cretan, Weather Report, the Stone Ogre Grotto, Chain Energy, High Tide Yojin, Boar Soldier, and an amoeba. I thought there was two more. Amoeba. No, it's like one of the worst ones. You never want to see an amoeba. So now we're down to tournament pack the first season. This will be all the tournament packs. We had really rough luck with the tournament packs. Uh, it is pretty tough to get these like from a, like a sealed box or anything. So it's hard to like really guarantee anything out of these. But we did get one super rare, I think. So uh, could be worse, I guess. We're going to get better with that. We didn't even get an ulti out of them. But let's see if we can get like the mech chaser. Let's go. Croating shark. Very cool. Cockroach Nine, also really cool. I think both of those are worth a little bit. And Shining Friendship. Yeah, there's our friendship. The Peacemaker Among Monsters. Yeah, very nice of them. All right, so tournament packs are pretty rough, but we kind of expected that. Next up, we're going to open the Metal Raiders promotional pack. Another one, if you have it, do not open it. It's not really worth it. It just has some commons from Metal Raiders in it, but it's just a very unique pack that I wanted to throw in there and open up. We did this on the last one. But basically, I think they, they did this ahead of Metal Raiders release, I believe, something like that. So pretty funny. Uh, let's just see what we can get for our metal rares. It could have Pecanio Moth. So that alone makes it worth it for me. Let's go. Why join the Duelist Kingdom or the Duelist King Tournament? Very nice. Kojikaze and Skull Knight. Oh, that's a good one to get. Very cool. And they're unlimited too. They're not even first edition, unfortunately. So this is a really cool item to get though. All right, now we have three more packs. I think technically like this one, I asked on Instagram to see if anybody knew when it came out. Nobody really knew. I, I Someone said it came out the same time as Star Deck, Yugi and Kaiba or Joey or something. I don't even know. So I just put it down here. We're going to save these two because they're bigger and more exciting. We're going to do this one real quick. Basically what this is is a Spanish promotional pack and inside there's cards from starter deck yugi i believe and uh, you can pull all the ones that are in spanish but there's only like two cards so it's kind of a weird pack so it's kind of a unique one too we didn't open it last time it's also not english so i didn't really need to open it but uh, it was very cheap so i figured i'd grab it okay inside we have oh two cards we have the gaia oh cool and a change of heart actually pretty good at two cards if you're gonna get two commons it was only like five bucks not a very expensive card or a uh, oh, pack there i should say all right we are officially over three hours of recording in this we have two packs to go if we're gonna pull a big one pulling it out of one of these would be the way to end it so it's been a pretty nice opening i think overall 
we've done pretty well with what you can expect for loose packs. We pulled some nice ultis, even some old school cards. I want to hit a big one out of these last two to end it really nice. I hope you guys have enjoyed this extremely long video. If you have, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this, because we will be doing more stuff, of course, like this in the future. And don't forget to like the video and do all that stuff. So don't forget to enter that giveaway as well. $400 10 you could win. All right, Metal Raiders time. First edition. Will we get the first edition of Ganyum off? Let me know in the comments. Let's go. I would take Summon Skull, Beast Skull, Solemn Judge, anything. Any Ultra Rare would be amazing. Even the Horn of Heaven I would be happy with, guys. Even the Horn of Heaven. Let's go. Sagi, the Dark Clown. Dome of the Angel of Silence. We got the Roaring Ocean Snake. Hibakime. Cheerful Coffin. Lady Defe. Very nice. Blue Winged Crown. The Tongyo. And I think this might be it. Is this the card? Mass Sorcerer. All right. Just a rare on the Mass Sorcerer. That's okay, though. That's a really cool pack. And now we're on to the final pack of every single Yu-Gi-Oh pack ever made. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for the support of the last few years, especially since I've gone full time helping me, you know, keep this as an awesome job I get to do every day. So hopefully we can pull blue eyes right here and just, uh, you know, everybody will be happy. You know, I'll be happy. You guys be happy. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's pull something amazing, guys. Blue eyes, white dragon has never been pulled on this channel. One, two. I'm taking any ultra rare, though. Any ultra, even a super, I'm probably happy. First edition LOB cards. We got to enjoy this. You don't see this very often. Wasteland. We've got a Larvis. Basic Insect. Ray and Tempatura. Come on, bless us, baby. Let's go. Forest, a beautiful, beautiful art. Oh, you love it. Skull Servant, he made an appearance. He got a, uh, a super rare earlier, and now he's got the common first edition. Green Phantom King, beautiful. He taught to me giant. How many cards are we through now? We're through uh, seven cards. I think it's the next one. Come on, give us a LOB foil. Let's go. Oh, it's a Reaper of the cards. A pretty cool rare though. If we're gonna get a rare, Reaper of the cards is the one to do. That was a very expensive pack, but it was fun to open. So very nice cards there. Unfortunately, we didn't end on a huge pull like we did on the last one with Jinzo, but I think I recorded the whole thing this time. So I'm not going to, I'm going to knock on wood real quick. Hopefully we didn't ruin that. I was a little worried that we might not pull anything. We actually got some really nice pulls and it was a really fun video to do. So if you did enjoy it, don't forget to support the channel and, uh, Hopefully we'll be able to do this again in the future. Shout out to Choice333, Nightshade Gaming YT, Hayden Jameson, Squirtle, Hoppus, Flexi Boy, Dizzy, Ernesto Deanda, Puffins of Doom, TCG Trusted Cards, JT Cho, Tomato Juice, Daxter, Tome Fo Show, Ananas High Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Seth Fisher, Stanley, Thomas McLean, and Tone Z. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.